Kenneth Bird. My company is Crystal Edge Technology Screens. Um, we are going to be doing an interesting demonstration today, and we're going to be doing a lot of these demonstrations today. We're going to be taking this product outside when we test this product against other outperforming screens. And the reason why this is being done is because, and another way we're showing you how this is being done, because for the longest while, this particular individual, as in Crow 1176, has been spreading very nasty rumors about us. Um, as of today, Monday morning, um, I have had set people in place to take care of this problem. Um, and he's just all out been trying to tear down my company's name in any way he possibly could. The problem is the fact that he has left some areas open that he thought that no one else would see, but we saw them and a few other people saw them also. Now, he got very upset when we made his product and said we were the ones who made his product without his permission, but he deleted the video. Now, I don't know how people like this think, I don't know how they function, but he felt that if he deleted the video, that he could continue to go on and telling lies saying that we made the product without his permission. Well, what he didn't know is we actually recorded the video. We recorded the video because we used the video as a tutorial showing us how to make a Metallica mix that he used to give away for free um, in 20, I think in 20, uh, 2016 or 2017, around the time he was giving away for free. But anyway, this is the actual video you can no longer find on his channel because he deleted it. His video accumulated 27,000 hits. It's floating around for quite some time and he deleted it because it got out that this particular mix right here matched perfectly to a personal mix, which is something that he's charging his customers for. So we're gonna make the product here. You don't need none of these name brand paints here. I have black and white paint in my basement and bottom line is we can make this right here with no problem. Now, what I'm gonna show you also too is, we're gonna come out of here real quick. Let me show you the kind of nasty stuff this individual has been saying about us. So he's the one who started the rumor. This is why Monday morning, I told you that I've already hired some individuals to take care of this problem, as in the whole slander with our name, copyrights, touching that stuff. There are people in place to handle the situation. YouTube the legal department has been contacted over this mess. And I'm going to show you the kind of hatred this individual spreads about us. So this is a product we made called um, Illuminus 7. It's a product that I worked hard to build. He went in and called me a scammer, said my product was a scammer. And this is the kind of hatred that he spreads about us. But meanwhile, all the time, he was selling the product to his customers that actually was everyday black and white paint. That's all it was. Because we found the video. That's how we learned to make it. We learned to make it because we watched his tutorial showing you how to make it. So I'm going to run it back so you can see it. We're going to make it today. I'm going to paint it on a large sheet. Not only going to paint it on a large sheet, but we're going to put this against a, 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 um, a fellow we bought paint from on eBay. He has a, a, a screen paint called Pro Screen US. We were supposed to do this a while ago. So let's blow the video up. So you can see that that is his kitchen table or dining room table. And that is him in the video. Now we don't have, we don't do, I don't uh, record people's voices. I don't do that kind of stuff, but we'll play the video through. So you can see that that is his product that he went in and went in and removed the video. The minute he found out that we knew that we could make that product and it matched perfectly to the personal mix. Now, mind you, in the description of the personal mix, as he was advertising his product, it was supposed to have all these special abilities, and supposed to be to do this, and supposed to be to do that. All that was just a lie that he is spewing out to his customers to get him to, to buy a product that was just basically, at the end of the day, two tablespoons of black paint mixed with white paint. And yet, you call us scammers, you call us liars, you call us cheaters, you say that we're just selling black paint to our customers. And this is the reason why we have to do these demonstrations. This is the reason why we have to come on and show our technology on different levels because we have individuals like this that are so jealous of what we do that 
they probably get our product over there if they get the real do over there and then see exactly how it performs and probably think oh shoot i can't let anyone see how this stuff looks i gotta taint this stuff and that's what they do and it's interesting because i did a live demonstration yesterday where i was walking throughout my entire house showing every screen firing off i had people calling me saying no one has ever did a demonstration like that you name one person that has that many projection screens firing off in their house at the same time. We've given them challenges that were never met. There is a challenge that's been floating around since 2019 called the ultimate challenge It's still on Google. It's still out there floating around of him, of us telling him to do the same challenge. Never done. We have the sun blocker, that screen that took on all that sunlight. That was a challenge. Never met. And we just ultimate, but that's not here nor there. What you're seeing is a person who basically advertised a product, and I don't even know why, to the life of me, I will never understand why he left this video floating. So let me make sure my calls running here. So Metallica Mix, what he's telling you. Now, mind you, you won't find the video. If you go to his channel right now, it has been deleted. It's not there. We are going to make this product to a T. Now, mind you, when I was making this product, uh, so I recorded myself going into the computer. So everyone would see that I was putting the correct measurements in there and actually finding exactly how many teaspoons it would make to make a tablespoon, which is three. Now, I don't know how in the world you could possibly ever get mad at us because it's your video. It's you in the video. It's your dining room table. That is a picture you have in all your videos uh, behind right there with that palm tree with the sunlight pushing through. That's your, your, your house. That's you showing people how to make this product. Now, the reason why the video was pulled was because whatever he probably puts in his product is probably the exact same thing by measurement, but by probably different. As I said before, we used to make this stuff back in the day on the Digital One Crystal Swing Paint. It was made the same way. You add in a couple of teaspoons of black, you add a couple of teaspoons of white, you add more, you get a darker version, you add less, you get a lighter version. That, that's how they tone it. That's how they do it. That's how people were making paint at that particular time. And this is why he's angry and upset. Now, mind you, before it came to this, before we were able to track this video down, before it got down to this point, we tried to purchase his product for review. To bring it over here to do a review, he doesn't want his product over here. So he canceled S order that went through. That we tried to place these orders, he kept canceling the orders. His uh, excuse was he doesn't do business with um, scammers and so forth. New business with, but if that was the case, we wouldn't have your UB mix over here because you had to make a transaction to us. Well, we made a transaction through you to get that product here. And I have an unboxing. I have multiple unboxings on my account of your product, which means those products were shipped to a United States postal box, the same one that I have now, and you shipped to that box also. So you can't use it as an excuse. No, you're terrified. You don't want your product coming here because if we do a honest review, as in fully lit environments, as when you saw me walking around my house yesterday and we put a screen under that scrutiny, what do you think would happen? It wouldn't last. We've requested the Frankenstein mix. We've requested the HG Cinema mix. And we requested the personal mix. All three orders were denied. And in his comment, he stated, I don't do business with scammers, but I have unboxings and I will post them at the bottom of us unboxing your product, which means you sold to us, which means you shipped to United States Postal Box where it went to and we received it. But you contacted eBay and said, well, the address looks sketchy. I don't want to send it to that address. You do know that there are people they call it too smart for their own good. In their mind, they think of it it's whole plan. They got it all planned out, but they don't understand what in, in real life there's something called reality. And in reality with eBay, if you basically report an address as being uh, suspicious, eBay has to go in and do an investigation on the address. 
because they have to find out whether or not if this fellow who has his address on his account has been duping other people. So they had to do an investigation. And what they will find out is it is a United States postal box, which is a legit box. And if Mr. Uh, Jamie does not understand, I don't know where he got the name Jamie, because his name is not Jamie. I don't know where and where he got the name from, but if you understand how a United States Postal Service box works on the security behind one of those boxes, I have one, and I've had one for quite some time. And even in COVID, where I don't want to leave my house because of my lung issues, I was told that I had to go down and renew my box, and I had to come in person, which means I had to come out of the solitary of my home, ride all the way down to a facility, stand in line with a bunch of people, and then go there and show my ID, my lease to show that I was connected to the house and everything in order to get a renew on my box. I couldn't give the money to a friend of mine and say, here, take care of this. No, I had to be there in person to show my face. So I can stand in front of all those security cameras that are recording me as I walk through and stand in front of that front desk, which is the camera staring me dead. They can say, hey, that's him. That's his ID. This is where he lives at. That's how secure those boxes are. So for you to make a statement like that, clearly shows that you're a complete liar. And I'm going to call you what it is now. I have never, ever, ever called you a scammer. But today, you are a scammer. Because you have scammed people out of their hard-earned money by developing and making this video. Number one, your intentions when you made the video. His intentions for the video when he made this were good at that particular point. But the fact that this stuff matches your product perfectly, the fact that I was able to get gray primer and match it to your UV mix perfectly with no problem shows you just been going down to the store and picking up everyday paints, putting on this huge show and advertising this tap dance routine to make it something that is not. And then you've been selling this to your customers. Now, it'd be different if I had no way to back this up. If I just came out and said, oh, no, 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 no. We just we just came up with this idea. We mix these things together, and this is how we came up with this product. No, we use your tutorial video how to do it. That's the part that stings the most for you. We use your own video with you in it, showing people how to make this product, and it matched your your um your screen paint perfectly. So that's me right now going into to get the measurements to show them that I'm doing everything by the book because I have a teaspoon. I have to show the measurements on how many teaspoons it takes to make a tablespoon. So who are you mad at? You mad at me? You mad at yourself? What you should have did, if you were a responsible person in business, you should have went and you should have an apology to your customers. That's what you should have did. You should apologize to your customers for doing something like this and then you try to try to do something to build up that trust again but you know what you do you go out and you come after us and you try to make our product which got you hit with even more damages because as i said before we've been in, we're, our, my my lawyer is in contact i've been in contact with um e, um paper i'm sorry paper, <laughs> youtube's legal department we all your videos that you've been slammed against us have all been sent to them they're looking over them right now you posting a thumbnail of my house, big deal. You can find my house anywhere, big deal. Like you can't find anybody else's house anywhere. We have your address and information. We know your first and last name. We have other information. We know who you are, big deal. But by you doing that, you basically damage the trust between you and your customer. Because your customer now, those that are respectable people, we're going to see that as, oh, if this person's going to do something like that, who's to say that I'm giving you my personal information to make a transaction from you? That you might not get mad at me and do the same thing back to me. I'm trusting you with personal information, my credit card, my shipping address. I'm trusting you with this. And if you're going to go as far as posting someone's house as a thumbnail, then who says what else you might do? So you've already damaged your 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 customer trust relationship that's like if you found out that if um let's just say verizon not saying they did it or ever did it but just say if verizon it leaked out that your personal information that's attached to your phone all your pictures everything you do on your phone every single day all your little secrets on your phone somehow got posted somewhere 
and they were responsible for it. Would you ever trust that phone company again? No, you wouldn't go near that phone company again with a 10 foot pole. Now, way back a long time ago, Ryzen did something to me that I will never ever use service again. Now I will use their phone service, but as an internet service, I wouldn't touch them with a 10 foot pole. And this is, they actually do this. And I can honestly say it because it happened to me. Now, I had software on my computer that belonged to me. It was my software. And for some reason, when we applied for the Horizon service, I applied for the top business plan. And their top business plan was something like $380 a month. It was very expensive for me to be able to stream and run my business and do downloads and uploads. I do them all the time. So one day we come in and I go check the computer and my service is shut. Suspension notice. I just paid my bill about a couple of days ago and I got suspension notice saying your service has been temporarily suspended due to suspicious activity found on your computer and i'm like wait a minute found on my computer so how would you know if i had suspicious access to my computer unless you did a remote control access to my computer and searching around through my files and found something in there that you didn't like and decided to give me the suspension so i'm sitting on the phone having this argument with them like how do you get access to my computer so they're explaining to me that they have the right within their contract small fine print to go into your computer and look around. Now, I don't know if they're doing this now, but it happened to me at that particular time, so I don't know if they're still doing it now. So I had to remove files off my computer in order to get my account reinstated so I could go back in and continue working. And, and when that happened, as soon as I paid off their bill, I canceled my service with them and went with Comcast and never went back to Verizon. And every time somebody comes up to me to this day, like last year before COVID hit, they had a couple of Verizon representatives in Walmart who would tell me how much money they can save me on my internet service. I just told the guy, no, I wouldn't do it. And I'll tell you why. And I explained to him why. And his manager came over and said, yeah, they can do that. He said, they could do that? Yeah, they can do that. That's why I tell people, you know, when you go on Xbox Live, when you go on PS4 and you're in there ranting and carrying on up, read the small fine print within your contract that's attached to your account. Because there's some interesting stuff in there that they can use against you. And yes, they can listen in to your record, to your conversations and everything else in there. That's why a lot of people are disconnecting those cameras, those connect cameras or taping them up. But anyway, that's just to give you an example. So, you know, you just lose that trust with that person. So that's why I said, that's why he removed it. He removed it, number one, because we've already reported that. That was already that he got away with that no we came in the minute we saw that that was already reported it was already sent to um youtube's legal department they have a copy we have a copy of the video he deleted it's, it's there it's something all that's there so like i said anything he does make copies of it but when you do stuff like that like i said you damage the trust and relationship with your customers with my customers none of their information is ever posted when we do ship outs we make sure all labels are turned around uh, you see me when I go up and I'm working, you guys got to stare at the screen because I'm working with a customer right now. I even got upset with a customer because he was talking in a live stream. And he was talking about things he should not have been talking about. But look, this is not the place and the time to be having this discussion. If you want to have this discussion, we need to have this on email or you can call me or we can do it that way. But I don't discuss personal business out like that. You're not supposed to do that. I'll roll ahead to all this because... I'm going to roll ahead to all this. I'll put the video down there for you to watch for yourself. You can look for yourself. Now, like I said, I'm probably not the first person that figured this out. I'm pretty sure I'm not at the first person. I'm pretty sure someone who probably saw this video, I'm not the first person who saw it. If it had 28 or 27,000 hits on it, that means somebody along the way had to figure it out and had to basically match his products to this and say, gee whiz, this is messed up. You know, you put on this huge advertisement and then find out at the end of the day, it's just everyday house paint. You know, it's like company advertising that they have the best brakes in the world, best brakes, most amazing brakes that you could ever buy. And put on this huge show and dance and commercials and info commercials on these brakes. You go out and buy them thinking these are the best brakes in the world. You go into a mechanic, he goes, no, it's just everyday brakes. Not only everyday brakes, they're like regular cheap brakes, but these were limited, exclusive addition customized brakes that you bought for your car your high performance car and find out they were just everyday brakes that you could just buy from any home any 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 auto zone any pet boys you could buy them for cheap and you paid all this money for them that's pretty much what just happened so you know for for him to get frustrated 
and upset with us because of the video, and he will get frustrated his video too, just clearly shows what you're dealing with. Now, for somebody to say, well, Ken, why are you doing this? Because it needs to be shown. People need to see exactly what they're getting themselves into. When you watch my products, I do a lot of paint live demonstrations and so forth. I'm up front with my customers. I show them exactly what they're buying. But when you want to start coming on here and having videos marked as we're scammers and we're this and that and the other, then guess what? I'm going to start digging around in your stuff and find out exactly who you really are. And now I'm going to basically expose you for what you are. So we have a screen behind us we're going to paint. We have a everything set up in the kitchen to do the demonstration off of. The same, we're going to repeat the exact same demonstration we just did here in this video. So we'll come over here real quick. Come back to the one. Drag the screen right over here. There we go. We'll put the screen right there against the wall. Now I guarantee you. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I could match just about every screen paint he has over there just by adding more or less black paint. I guarantee you. I probably could. Could match every last one of them. Because if that wasn't the case, there'd be no reason to delete the video. Why would you delete the video? If your product has nothing to do with the free paint that you are offering, why would you delete the video? The reason why I deleted the video because that video actually shows how his product is actually made. It's made by how much black or white paint, how much black paint you add into white paint. If you add in more or you add in less, that's how his product is made. That's the base of his product. That's why the video was removed. Now, there's a video of him taking our product down to Home Depot, flashing off our, um, our logo, copyright logo, which in the last video demonstration I did, I displayed my public records. You can go into public records. You can go to gov.com. You can go into copyright record search. You can put in my company's name and my information will pop up showing that my copyright is registered with the United States government. And you know what that means from the door. So right now I will be making a contact today. I'll be contacting the legal department of the copyright office to uh, start to begin the process of following out a complaint and also to uploading and sending the video, which we made two copies of over there for them to start the, um, start the process of the paperwork. You do know because that is considered to be with the government, the FBI has to be involved in that. It's copyright. They have to do an investigation. And it doesn't make a difference. You say you don't have your information, just the U.S. government, they have your information. It's not hard to find. They'll track you down in no time at all. So we'll be following that paperwork today. Because even when my attorney peed the video, he started laughing. He said, does he know that the label still has a copyright on it? I said, I don't think he does. He sat right there. But even though if you don't, it does, you know you're doing wrong when you do something like that. You know you're doing wrong. He thought that he said there the product is discontinued. But that is the same logo that sits right on our website, which means you slandered my company. You slandered my, disrespected my copyright, which means, like I said, even if I decide not to even get a lawyer involved, I could file a complaint with the copyright office over there. And they, they, have, they have to get involved. They have to invest, launch an investigation. Can you handle this drama privately, extremely unprofessional? Actually, it is professional. It's very professional. This is how it's supposed to be done. It is professional. If you feel that you don't like it and you're not a subscriber to my channel, then you can just go. That's it. This is when we get people coming here like this. This is his fan group that will come in and try to make it sound like that. I'm being unprofessional by showing somebody who's cheating other people on his product so he's saying this is unprofessional for me to show you that this individual is stealing from people that's unprofessional but yet this is the same person keep in mind watch this we're going to pause this for a minute this is the same person who has called me this label this video call me this now what do you have to say about that 
and the comments that it picked up. What do you have to say about that? Did he just say unprofessional? So me showing people that this individual has been making a product and cheating people is very unprofessional. So what do you say about that? That's my product right there. All right, then. Well, come on here acting like you're new and you don't know what's going on, like he doesn't do anything wrong. And that's the picture that Crow wants to paint, that he basically does nothing wrong, that he's an innocent person, and that he is fighting for the people to get rid of me because I am scamming people out of their products and my product works. Here we go. Let's go back to the video right there. We get somebody comes into the video and starts screaming, oh, this is unprofessional. This is not how you do business. This, that, so and so and so and so. I've been in business for 10 years, much longer than he has been. I've had contracts from here to there. I know how to run a business. But if you're going to basically come on YouTube and you're going to try to slander me and say I'm this and that and the other, well, then it's my job to protect my company, as I said. And I'm going to come on here and show you exactly what this, who this person really is. So that way you can decide for yourself. So there's me, me activating the protector. Move on from there. It's me activating the projector. Using a Chrissy, a Chrissy tenant full 10 EP projector at 4,300 lumens, plenty enough power. So you can't say I was under power, plenty enough power. And mind you, and for a person who said being professional, this is the same individual who has been mixing black paint into our products and trying to paint a picture that our product comes up so dark you can't see it. But yet yesterday, I'm able to walk through my house and throughout the entire house from morning to noon to night with all those projectors fired up and showing you beautiful bright images. If it was too dark, you wouldn't be to see anything at all, period. So that shows you a person that clearly lied in his demonstrations and slandered our product, called a scammer. And then this individual comes on here and says, oh, you're not being professional. OK, I really think before you come on here, Crow Boys, you honestly need to do your research before you come on here, before you make yourself sound like a hypocrite and a complete idiot. Let's move on. I'm going to go do something in the back real quick. Ugh. Just don't like the part that they're being outed. That's what it is. What it comes down to. It comes down in the end and just don't like the part of being outed. That's what bothers them. Now, the person that they have been backing all this time is pretty much a fake. And that's what bothers them. There you go. See how the image popped up? And that's the paint I just made in my kitchen. Watching him do his tutorial. So, Crow Boys, I'm curious. You you have freedom to speak here. I would really like to know why in the world does that image look exactly like the image on his personal mix? Perfectly. And all I did was follow his tutorial. It's funny. You can't come at me and say, oh, you made that product on your own. No, I watched him make it. He showed me the tutorial. I followed his tutorial. I made it myself. I wouldn't have to go in and buy your personal mix. I could literally make gallons of it. I can make gallons of it if I want to. I don't have to. They're both the same thing. Metallica and personal are both the same thing. See so that old beat up sample sheet that I pulled from my kitchen drawer? I had that on the first day that I actually got your personal mix down to my house. Matched perfectly. So why buy it when I can make as much as I want? 
And in return, he tried to make our product. That didn't go far, did it? You know why? He couldn't do any of the demonstrations. And our technologies, we have over 30 demonstrations on our technology. If you take the time and watch our demonstrations, you will notice that we do a distance throw. We do all different forms of contrast. We do color demonstrations. We do demonstrations with high performance screens. And one of the final tests the technology has to go through, it has to go outside and it has to do that 13 feet. Our screens have to go through testing. So if that is our product you claim that you made, how come you didn't complete all the tests that are under the test that our products are matching them exactly the same? Because you couldn't. You did one video trying to show people how to make it and that was the end of it. You didn't do any of the test demonstrations at all, which was a complete fail. As for that free screen paint mix, we have a video. We made that product way back in 2019 when Partey was making that stuff for free. Yeah, we made it already. We tested against the eight. It failed against the eight. I'll show you that demonstration also where we made this product. Oh, we know about this stuff. That's why when I saw the demonstration, we said free paint and I saw how dark and gritty it was. It matches exactly to the product that we made about a year ago. It reacted the same way. Because he puts, um, is it Vaseline or something he mixes in there? It's, it's really bad. It's not easy to clean up because you have an oil substance and a water-based substance and it makes it impossible to clean up. Because when you add hot water to it, you know what happens when you add hot water, uh, hot water to the oil? It doesn't exactly break up. It makes it impossible to wash off stuff. So yeah, we know about the, the free mix. We know about that. We've been know about that. We made that product way back. Didn't do too well. And it actually showing the same dark, dirty result as it does in the same video that he's displaying. So that's why we paid no mind. We know what it is. But you let me know if he does demonstrations where he walks around his house and doing any demonstrations like that at all, period. You can't do them. This is why we give him challenges. They don't do it. That's why we asked him, we asked him, can you do a demonstration showing your personal mix? And the do-it-yourself free mix that you made next to the Cinemax. Let's see how close they come together. You never did a demonstration. You know why? Because they're, they're probably exactly the same thing with a different name. The painting the wagon scenario. Someone paints a wagon. They sell it to you. They steal it from you. They paint it a different color. They paint it by, so to somebody else. Look at that. Look how perfectly that matches. But you're mad and upset with me. How? You're in the video. You learned to make it from you. You taught us how to make that. You followed your instructions. I have white paint and black paint on my kitchen counter right now. We're going to make some. We're going to do a demonstration again. And then we're going to take that same mixture that we painted. We're going to take it outside. And I guarantee you that the sample sheet, everything, it reacts the same way to contrast. It reacts to blues and greens. It reacts the same way. There's no difference whatsoever. Because like I said, what's the point of having orders canceled because we want to do a review which i also find quite funny here because keep in mind um fernando wants to do demonstrations on everybody else's stuff he wants to do reviews on everybody else's stuff but if you try to do a review against his stuff he cancels your orders and then when you try to replace them again he goes into a crying wine fit we call it snowflake syndrome on how we're bullying him and we're harassing him because we want to do a dem we don't want to do a review on our end in our environment which his screens can't survive in but yet you do demonstrations we're tainting our product and saying that you are better than us and that your product's more superior and you can save people hundreds and we're scamming people and that's what you do so you're being outed for what you are and now you're being outed for what you are outside of you you're going to be sued. So that's why when I did the video, I posted my public records. So you can see that. And if you go to YouTube and try to get some kind of legal advice, let me explain something to you. If a person has artwork they've developed 
or anything they have copyrighted, if it's not registered, they don't have a leg to stand on in court. But the problem you have here is that it's registered artwork. So there's going to be a problem there for you. Even bigger problem, you shot a video of yourself taking a product down to Home Depot with a logo attached to it that was attached to a company's name, which means there's slander involved in that. There is all kinds of copyright infringement. There is, oh, what's the other charge for? Oh, counterfeiting is one of them. That's when the FBI gets involved, not the police, the FBI. So not only do you have to deal with my attorneys, you have to deal with the U.S. government because that is what you violated also, which are fines up to 250 to a half a million dollars in prison time. If you probably plead a, get a plea deal or something, maybe you can waive the prison time. So you have to take this extremely seriously because today we file that paperwork with that copyright office and explain to them exactly the situation. We've already forwarded the videos over and we filed that paperwork to begin the process of filing a complaint. And with that, we will go after YouTube. If they don't follow through on what we want, we will file a lawsuit against them also because their platform was used to spread this nonsense. In none of my videos have I ever called you a scammer at all. Not one time. Even when we caught you doing stuff you weren't supposed to be doing. But you have titled me as a scanner, which is slander. Now, mind you, when we do go to court, if my lawyer suggests me to paint that screen in the courtroom, you better pray to God that it does not come up dark where no one can see it. Because if it comes up where people can see it, and I do paint on demonstrations all the time, that's going to be another lawsuit you'll be hit with. In his mind, his world, he believes this is not going to happen. It's not real, so-and-so-and-so. Well, you look at that piece of information we gave you from the copyright, and you tell me whether or not that's not real or not. That's not a real 100% genuine registered copyright. Do your research. Because it is. And I have a video of you. And if you remove it, we have two videos of you taking that product down, flashing my logo off with a copyright attached to it, talking trash about it, slandering it, and then taking it down to a Home Depot to make a product. You wouldn't win that case in court, no matter what lawyer you get. I wouldn't even bother getting an attorney. You, you would have to pay the attorney's fee. You have to pay the court costs. If you lost, you wouldn't win it. That's you on a video. And then we had the umpteen text messages emails of you sending me text messages how you're going to destroy my company how i'm a scammer how i'm this how i'm that yeah we have those messages all that's being built into a case reality is about to catch up with you and it's not going to be pretty but the reality we have now is why in the world do we have a screen paint that you offer for free that i learned to make off your channel that is matching perfectly with your product this is why he doesn't want the frankenstein to come over here he doesn't want any of the product to come over here to begin with. And Frank is not supposed to be an ambulant rejection screen paint. You do know how we test our screens for ambulant rejection. We stick them outside. Yeah, you wouldn't pass any of the tests. So, let's get this started. There's a platform you're going to be painted on today. I'm also going to be doing a demonstration with the fellow with pro screens. You're going to go side by side to his technology. Now, he has the real deal. Where's my stand? Over here. All right. Let's get this started. And you can sit there and whine and cry about how we're bullying him. We are this way. He's going to cry and whine about it. He's going to say, oh, he's bullying me. He's, he's, he's harassing me. I'm harassing and bullying you, but yet you have videos of you labeling that we are scammers and stealing from people. That's funny, Snowflake. Yeah, I'm going to call you Snowflake from now on because that's what you want to cry about. You're the victim. And all the while, you've been stealing from your customers. So we have some black paint. We have white paint. We have container. Simple and plain to make. Just like in the video, we're going to make it the exact same way. So what he has is this is a tablespoon right here. Actually, it's two tablespoons and this one right here. That's two tablespoons. We got a paint right here. 
And we're going to show you not only are we going to make it the correct way he made in the video, but I'm going to make it in different directions, in different ways, in different products, and show you every last one of them going to come out the exact same way. It's going to react the same way. To show you that, what would happen if I put in four more of these or five more of these or we advance and put a couple more of these to show you exactly which shades, how different shades we can get out of it. We'll use it. We'll get a shade sheet. Get out of it. So we take some white paint. We have here. Let me get something stare at our way. This is all I have, which I can use. I got some utensils, but then again, I live by myself, so you know I don't need really anything at all. So put some white paint here right here. And I like how when he did the demonstration, I mean, we wanted to make it sound like it was so professional. It's not. It's pretty much all it is. This is the same stuff we used to make under Digital One Crystal Screen Paint. And I can tell you the ingredients for Digital One Crystal Screen Paint because we no longer make it anymore. And you won't get something with the copyright or lawsuit or anything like that because it did have some paperwork underneath of it. But trust me, I won't sue you. Now, Pretty much, when it comes to the white paint, pretty much this is the base. This is all it is, the base. This is the toner. So the more you put this in here, the darker it gets, and the less you put the lighter in. That's how they, they measure exactly how much they want to add in. Now, we have requested to see the mix he made here next to the personal mix. The personal mix we wanted to see next to the Cinemax. The demonstration was never done. I even seen someone post at the bottom, can you please test against the personal mix? He never did it. You know why? Because they are pretty much probably exactly the same. Let's see, let's take some of our black paint here. What does that look like to you? There you go. And I don't know why he calls it a Metallica mix, because there's no glitter in this. There's no glitter, there's no silver paint, there's nothing in this at all. All right, so just to make sure we got this stirred up quite well, let's shake it up a bit. I'm gonna think I'm gonna clean this up because I got paint all over the place and I went all over me. Tomorrow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make five gallons of this. Do you know how much this would have cost me? When I paid for the personal mix, I paid, it cost me, I paid $75 and about $23 for shipping. That's what I paid for it. This would have cost me $17 for a quart, and it would probably cost me about $23 for this right here for that. All I would have to do is just multiply. If it takes four, two, teas, two tablespoons to make this, all I would have to do is put in eight or an equal gallon. So shake this up real good. Go. Let's pour that out. Show you the color we got. There we go. Looks exactly like a personal mix. Now keep in mind, can't get upset with us. Crow boys, you can't get upset with us. You know why? Because it's him on the video. So how can you get mad at me? How can you get angry at me? It's him on the video. No, you're mad because you probably bought that product and you got cheated out of $104. When I'm in here making it for free. 
Let me see. Let me get myself something to prop itself. That's what you're mad about. You're mad about because the person that you supported the constantly slandered us and called us scammers and thieves and what we are. We're stealing from people and all that. You found out that all the while he was taken from you. I have to make you angry. You better learn to direct that anger somewhere else. You might get slapped in a lawsuit. You know what's interesting about this? Again, when he called himself making our black screen paint, how many tests did he do? None. Any tests at all? Oh, he showed you how to make it, but he didn't do any of the tests backing up that that was the actual product, right? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. You know why I couldn't show you those tests? Because the product you already had from the door failed. You know why? You put white paint in it. Let me tell you a little secret. There's no white paint in black technology. It clouds the image. You figure that one out. Let me get this stuff off my countertop too. Hold on for a minute. I'm making five gallons of this stuff today for myself or something else. What do you do about the High power projectors and dark environments, smoke and mirrors. And you were just pro boy. Now, this is not for my customers. My customers know what they got. But man, this is what you you wanted. This is what you got. bother contacting me on screen paint. We don't want your business. Keep your mind. You know I only do business with people that I can respect. I don't respect you. Now one bit. And you know the one thing about it? You're gonna watch my screen blow this up. My black one. We gotta actually we're in the process of designing a light gray screen paint. To control that area too. I wonder what coding technology would look like in this stuff. We don't need this stuff. This stuff is clouded. And that's the problem with it. It's clouded. It's clouded. You don't even know what clouded does. You know what clouded means, Crow Boys? You know what clouded means? When a chemical is clouded? It's kind of like if you take a clear bottle of water and you drop in black ink. It's cloud the image. Well, cloud you add to it, the harder for it to like to push through. It's equivalent to like what you had, and I hate to use that as an expression, when you have a fire, and a fire burns so heavily that 
sunlight can't push through. That's what you're doing. You have product the clouds of judgment. Look at this. Look how close this looks. Don't get mad at me. You know it's funny because through the entire video, I called him a scammer one time, and that's what I knew, and I showed you that he was making his product. You could have made it yourself. Other than that, I ain't going to call him a scammer. I ain't going to label a video scammer. I'm not going to label one video under scammer. You got to be terrified for me to turn that projector on, aren't you? What does that look like to you? Look at it. What does that look like to you? This is where the curl is. I want them to be to take this in carefully. Because we're going to be doing more demonstrations on this. A lot more. If you want to, and you can go call YouTube's legal department, whatever. Because I'll show them that video that he pulled. And then I'll basically file a complaint with the Better Business Bureau. Whatever we got to do and show you scamming people. If you want to go down that road. Now, unlike him, I have attorneys. I can pay one of them to push through all that red tape. It takes people days to get through. They can get through it in no time at all. Because technically, he's running a scam. So we can get the Better Business better business Bureau involved in this. Or better Business Bureau involved in this. And we can have proof that he's doing it. If you want to go down that road. Oh, that's me on camera. Ha ha ha. Let me see if I'm going to work on here. That's pretty cool. You can just stare at your screen for a bit. I'll be back. Let me see. 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 For it doesn't look good for that 20 pump something pump 2020. I was gonna get that today for my system and found out that so many people have been doing electronically returns on it because it's not working right for the older systems. They're having all kinds of rips and tears and uh, forever loading time. That system was designed for a next gen system. At the end of the day, it was. But I wouldn't buy it for a next-gen system because then you run the risk of your system bricking. Unless they got that mess fixed, I'll go buy one if they can find one. Other than that, it's um, kind of like damn if you do and damn if you don't. All right, come here for a minute, people. I want to show you something. This is Crow's purse right here on display. You see that right there? That looks exactly like the screen I got to sit in my living room right now. You guys got scammed big time. Don't bother getting your money back. You're not gonna get it back. They'll let you know from the door. You're not gonna get it back.
One little light bulb in the corner. I told you when you watch screens that claim to be ambient light rejection. Let's see you do a dark contrast off that screen. And I'm curious. That's supposed to be black. That's all faded and washed out. Now, what happened to the lights? Before, when you show up the screen, you got the light to the side. You do know when you watch YouTube that any YouTube background is black. You know that, right? So it's supposed to be black when you display it on YouTube. That completely washed out, completely right here. We can do the light bulb test. I got a light bulb downstairs. We can sit next to the screen. We do the same demonstration here. We'll do the same demonstration since we do have a replica of it. And we do have the actual paint here on a sample, just to let you know. Samsung 4K demo 2013. I need to remember that one. We need to look that one up. I'll put that in the machine ahead of time. I gotta go over it and I have to put that in. We're gonna bring that exact same demonstration on. Come over here, people. I want you to see this. We're firing up the projector. I can tell you from being 10 years in the business, that is not going to be good. Starfield demonstration. YouTube, Starfield screensaver. Certain keywords you got to kick in there. I told you, YouTube's background always comes up black, no matter what. We all know that. Everybody's on YouTube right now. You should definitely know that one. I should have to tell you that one. Sarah for demonstrations are never done. When we request them, they're never done. All right, we'll let that play. We'll get a fan, get that to dry. Come over here, we're gonna do that demonstration right there. And then we got our sample sheet of the personal mix, which I have here, and we'll match them.
Now it's interesting because keep in mind, if you look at all three of his products, they all look the same. They're only off by I see one shade of a darker color. That's it. A light shade of a darker color. If you look at our products, we have a gold that looks nothing like a black. You got a black screen that looks definitely nothing like a black silver. You got a black silver that looks nothing like a platinum. None of our products look the same. Even the blue has its own identification that looks nothing like anything we designed. But everything else we've seen here with the Frankenstein, the personal mix, Metallica mixed, they all look the same way. I told you when it comes to light gray screens, bright colors they can pull up, but no problem. It's the contrast is what they struggle with. Reds are one of the colors that uh, screens struggle with when it comes to ambient light, and blue is another one that they struggle with. That's why when you see companies like Screen Innovation, when they're doing demonstrations, they're always showing you like blue oceans and stuff like that, because that's one of the colors that actually has a problem when it comes to ambient light, especially black. Black has a real serious problem with it. Notice his camera angle. He's pushing the camera on the side where the lamp is at. He needs to pull it. Gonna bring it all the way out and show the entire screen. You gotta back up and show the whole screen and the whole entire environment on how it's being viewed. And that lamp appears to be off. Look at the wall right here. This is the stuff that people can see when you're watching a demonstration. They will stare at the background of the wall. I told you the wall tells the whole entire story of the environment. And he leans to the side. There's the lamp right there. Now, if you look at the wall, the wall is not the exact same brightness as it was before. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, I don't know. For some reason, he's not swinging that camera out right here. That's because the lamp is off. Called it. Told you. Called it. Right from the door. I called it. I know. I've watched enough of these demonstrations. I can read someone's demonstration. When he leaned to the side to show you the video, he clicked that lamp off. Actually fading on that side of the screen. That's why he kept keep, keeping the camera cut to the side, cut to the side. I told you he turned now, if you're going to do a demonstration, you're going to have a lamp on. The lamp is supposed to stay on for the entire time of the video. When you watch me do demonstrations, as when I was walking through my house, those lights stay on for the entire time of the video. If that video is supposed to be displaying a screen that can produce an image in a well-lit environment, the lights are not supposed to go out. They're supposed to stay on. That's the purpose of the demonstration. Turns them back on. Let me go get some tape. Y'all can finish watching this. And again, look at the background. Do you see where my screen sit at? This is where my screen sit at. Yesterday, a few people came in. And he watched my screen at 12 o'clock in the afternoon with all that light pushing in and that thing maintained an image from square to square. Now what would happen if I took my screen down and I painted that screen right there in that window? What would happen if I pulled the star field or any deep dark contrast demonstration? What do you think would happen?
When it comes to displaying contrast level, the screen will always be in the dark. Still even fading, having problems. All this right here, you're not supposed to see this. This is a faded image right there. The background is supposed to be so black that the windows are supposed to push out. I don't understand this scenario. Why are you zooming up so close to the screen? No one's sitting that close to the screen. You gotta show the screen from a distance. I can produce the same image on the product you just gave me. Let's see. Now this one was this video is what? It is um minute let's go back here sorry about that we don't do that over here i do apologize for that one i want to see the video okay we got samsung 4k demo samsung 4k demo I think it's 2013, right? Yeah, it is 2013. It's at the bottom. Go back up. 25. 23. Yeah, alright, we got it. We got the video. Come in. There's it right at the bottom. I made this for free. We're not free. Consider the fact. Let me show you something. I made this for around, let's say altogether, seventeen dollars a quart. And then you're talking about for what he charged for. He probably paid about seventeen dollars a quart. And if you're going to do a gallon, it's probably going to be 23 But then again, like I said, if you're going to do two quarts, it's probably about $34. For $34. Now, mind you, this isn't a product that I made. This is a product that I followed his tutorial how to make, how to make the product. That's where I got it from. The video that he pulled off his channel. And we're going to put this against our technology to show you exactly where our technology is far more advanced. Then we're going to put this against the pro screen and show you where the pro screen at $43 for two quarts, it's much better. 
we're going to go down that road. Now, zooming up, image, there you go. And that's a Chrissy I'm using behind me. That's more more advanced than the projector that the fellow had in the demonstration. These are Chrissy's. We never heard of a Chrissy before. Chrissy projectors, like I said, brand new starting off, would cost you 20, 30, 40. You can spend a hundred thousand dollars for one of those projectors. They're very expensive. When I came in, he was talking about how his JVC was three grand. My lens and my projector alone is three grand. The parts on Chrissy's are very expensive. But anyway, that's the free product I made right there. Let's go back. Hold on for a minute. Before we go ahead and do that, I'm going to do something real quick. I'm going to find that exact area in the video. Here we go. That background, Samsung, is supposed to be so you know. Exact same thing. exactly the same way with the contrast levels from here to here and we got more light in our environment Faded that looks. Well, like I said, where's Crow Boys at? I thought they'd be in here running their mouths and giving me my, giving me my two cents on how I'm wrong in the demonstration. I thought that was how it would be. But nope, they're not in here. You know why? Because they know darn well I'm right. See how it looks faded? Right? That's supposed to be black in the background. Look at the side of my 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 uh, my white wall that blends in with screen. Now you see that? Same faded out image. I'll let y'all watch that minute right there. Enjoy yourselves. Those of you who bought the product.
video playing for you guys? It is. That background for Samsung is supposed to be black. Now, let's come over here. It's right here. I'm going to show you. See this old beat up sample sheet? I had this beat up sample sheet since we got Crow's personal mix from the door. That was delivered to us. Now, if he sits there and says to him on camera, says, we don't ship this, we don't do business with him. He made that himself. Well, we got unboxings on your technology. We do have that. And we got your container here, buddy. This is your container. I got a YouTube unboxing video to match it. All your products, I got YouTube videos to match it because as I said before, and we all know, I back up everything. Sample, which is old sample sheet we painted with your personal mix. This is why we were requesting more from but you canceled on us. You didn't want to actually have us have the product over here, so you canceled it. So as we said before, that is the Metallica mix. Even though it's going to look just like this, this is what we're going to call it. I can easily come on here because these guys are dirty individual, and I can easily say, oh, no. We're going to call that the personal mix, our new version of the personal mix. We don't do that kind of nonsense. We don't do those kind of games. We don't do that. Call it what it is. I know we had a few crow boys in here. You didn't like what you saw, did you? Good. Because at the end of the day, you can't come up to me and say, oh, well, you made this product without permission. No, we got a tutorial video of him making the product and he made it exactly the way he made it in the video. There you go. There's his personal mix matching perfectly to the free mix. Well, now let's continue to play. So next time you want to call me a scammer and say that I cheat my customers and try to slander my company's name, well, this is what we'll show. Your product matching directly and correctly to a product that you gave out for free. Your tutorial video that you removed off your account because you didn't want people to see exactly that the products that you were making were similar to everyday household paint. And you were selling this product, telling us this is amazing. It's, it's beautiful, it's more high tech, it's more advanced than anybody else's product. But I'm not done there, because I'm gonna take your stuff and I'm gonna put it against my technology, my black screen. And we're gonna pull a contrast level on that screen. We'll see where you stand. I'll put you against the Platinum Eclipse. I'll put you against the uh, the Black Silver. We can go against all my screens today. Every last one of them. We'll do a review on all of them. And we'll see how far you stand out. And then in the end, I'm going to put you against Pro Screens. That was a fair review. Now, for anybody who can say, well, it's not fair that you did him wrong. No, I didn't do him wrong in any way whatsoever. I made his product from his instructions. I put it against his product and I put it without his product and it looked exactly the same. It matched perfectly. Now, you want to talk about products being too dark? Okay. How about this? How about we take 
there are new mix. And we'll put that next to next to your product. See how dark it comes up. Keep in mind, the truck always not a sense. Keep in mind. I can take my gray screens and I can take a gray screen and stick it against a black screen. A gray screen. My gray screen is actually lighter than this screen right here. And I can put it against my black screen and my black screen blend into it. You can't tell one from the other. But let's see if we take this screen right here and it blends into that screen. That's how your UV mix comes up next to your free mix. And that's how it comes up to your personal mix. This is how dark it is. Since you're gonna go into bright colors. Now, what I'm gonna do next is I should after this, we'll do another sample. She wanna keep this one here because I need this for something else. We're gonna do another demonstration where we got the pro screens behind us. And we're going to paint half of that. I think we can do the back end of this too with the pro screen. We got it Do the back screen? Yeah, we did the back end of this. We do half of that with the pro screens. And we'll show you how the pro screen compares to both the do it yourself free mix and uh, the um, personal mix. Well, like I said, can't be upset with us. We followed your tutorial. You showed us how to make it. All I did was just follow your video instructions. Sorry about that. Follow your video instructions and voila. There we go. Now, if I wanted to be that person, I could rename this free paint Personal Mix 2.0 or Personal Mix Metallica 2.0. And I can make it because the bottom line is you showed everybody how to make for free. You can't get a copyright on something you give out for free. The whole purpose of the copyright is to keep secrets and nonsense. You know what I mean? Or you can't get a patent. Sorry. You can't get a patent on it because the whole idea of a patent is basically to protect the identity of the product. If you're giving out the product for free, it's no longer eligible for a patent because you gave it up for free. So technically, when you really speak about it all in all, it's a personal mix. That's what it is. It's a personal mix. That's what it is. It matches perfectly with no problem whatsoever. I wonder what happens if you put in the historical demonstration. Where's the arrow? This is why we request that you do testing on your product before you put it on the market. Because people need to see exactly what they're getting themselves into. You said you went against the Dark Star 9, right? So we're going to put you against the Dark Star 9 and see how you really came up next to the Dark Star 9. Um, what are you looking for here? Don't for a moment, for so, you're supposed to have beat a dark star nine. That's a three thousand dollar projection screen. Let's see if that was actually possible that you did that. This is dark star nine. There's no way in the world you beat that screen. <laughs> no, there's no way in the world you could have beat that screen. Starfield screensaver, YouTube. I keep forgetting when it's freaking. Watch my phone. It goes into those. Watch my phones. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Are you kidding me? Oh, I got the wrong remote control. What the freak is going on? Got the wrong remote control. Why is it in the screensaver? Come out of that screensaver. Starfield demonstration screensaver. I no. Starfield screensaver demonstrations. Hmm. I have a few skills that can help. No. Could you mean screensaver? All in one? Starfield screensaver. There's still a few 
things Americans can agree on. The importance of speed, hard work, great outdoors. So we built a future for Yeah, buddy, you're fading. You are definitely fading. So I wonder how close I could come to a Frankenstein. I think I could basically probably do all of them. It's pretty much a shade more or a shade less. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, you're doing what's right. That product looks so, so close to it. something to show you I'll show you how we're going to make our own just say we're going to make a darker mix using the same thing all right very simple i told you we used to make this stuff back in 2012 so for those you're thinking that he has the right to this he doesn't first things first for those you don't know there's a paint that used to be on the market a long time ago called the youtube paint those you don't remember that then hey that's not my problem but i'm just telling you there was a paint called a YouTube paint. Now, YouTube paint came out right around the time when the Galaxy, I think it was the Galaxy 737 projectors were big. Everybody's buying these um, knockoff Chinese projectors, but these were actually good Chinese knockoff projectors. So there was a YouTube paint coming out that the people had, people, everybody was making it on YouTube around that time and everybody was actually getting into these projectors. Now, this is the mix we made right now. And this right here, pretty much what they would do to darken it, they would add a little white paint to it like this 
And if you add in, sometimes we do it the opposite. So the opposite way is, you've seen how we put in two tablespoons to make that particular mix, right? Well, they would do the opposite. They would actually fill all this up with black paint and they would actually add in the same amount, but it'd be the opposite out. And that would make the dark gray. All right, so what we'll do is, we have one over here, it's already filled up. Right here, yeah, we got one right here. So we'll put a little bit in this, just to show you. Oh, that was the top that I had in there. That was never good. Ooh, my hands are gonna get messy on this one. Yeah, nasty, nasty. All right, I'll put that right there. All right, so we're just gonna add more in there, like that. All right, so we have our different shades here. As you can see, we're making them as we go along. Right there, adding more. As you add in more black, you're adding less black. You're adding less, a little bit more. This is how you get the different tones. So this is how they do it. All it is is just everyday paint. This is the reason why when we give them, them challenges, they don't take them challenges because everyday paint, there's nothing special to it. And it's not going to react the same way our screens are reacting. That's why we do so many insane demonstrations to show that our product is not like everybody else's. There you go. But they're not doing those demonstrations. I told you, they're not matching our demonstrations. They're not doing the same demonstrations. Then it just shows you that you're just dealing with everyday house paint. Same thing when you're dealing with them high-end projection screens. They test all their screens on white screens. When you watch any video demonstration, you will see them going against a white screen every time. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're just basically going to take... Man, we'll dip this in here. Are you seeing this? Hold on for a minute. Turn my camera around. You're not seeing this. What are you doing this? You're not seeing it. All right. No more. Good gracious, man. People are going to make me mess up my camera stand, man. There we go. Now I got you down a level. All right. So we're just going to put a cup one in here. Don't we need one? Now, like I said, we don't take this stuff as a threat to us because we've tested our product on everything. When I told you, when I developed the black stains, I had to test my product against chalk paint, black paint, spray paint, fabric, whatever you name it, we had to test it against to see which one pulled out the higher white level. So we've done all these tests already. In reverse, That's how you get the dark gray mix. Now, we add a little more white to that. One more spoon to that. Now, mind you, if you're doing black, the verse, the verse way out, you gotta double everything. Everything has to be doubled. So if you put two and to make into the white, then if you put into the black, you gotta put, instead of putting two, you gotta four because you're dealing with a black. Now you got a darker gray. Cinema mix, this looks familiar. We're gonna put all these screens up. And they keep adding more white to it. And it keeps lighting in the shade. Let's see. A little more than that. I told you. When it's always the reverse. Every time you add more or less to it, you get a different shade. Every time. Now, if you're going to do white, ugh. take this, we made from here, put this in here, and let's say we put four in here, 
just for the fun of it. We're just going to put four. Science class with Kenny. Science class with Kenny. Science class with Kenny. Science class with Kenny. Yeah. We'll put four of these in here. Four of these in here. Three. There's no science behind it. It's just basically just, you're just basically changing the shade. That's all you're doing. That's my mess. I hope this doesn't jack up my countertop, man. What I do for you people. This is gonna blow your mind. Hope you're watching. Isn't that interesting? How I mix these two together, bunch of these together, to make a darker gray. Then took the darker gray instead with the white for the white, and then we get that. See, told you, it's just black and white paint, that's all it is. It all reacts the same way. You know why? Because we used to make it. That was Digital One Crystal Screen Paint's little secret when we first started developing our company. It was different shades of black and white paint. That's all it was. You wanna know what was in the Digital One Crystal Screen Paint? I'll tell you, because we don't make it anymore. Don't worry, I won't have a lawyer come out there and shoot the living crap out of you. I'm gonna tell you what happened when we got in it. We don't care anyway, we don't make that stuff anymore. How the digital one crystal screen paint was made was it was black and white paint. It was black and white paint, and it had that uh, extra fine glitter. That's what they use. Extra fine glitter, and they use maybe um, a half a cup of silver metallica. Now, at that particular time, we were making this stuff. Everybody was making gray screen paint. There was no such thing as anybody making a black gray screen paint or a dark gray. Didn't exist. Everybody was doing that or they was making a YouTube paint. And the reason why the YouTube paint, it's kind of hard to make because the ingredients that they used for making the YouTube paint, I think two of them came up as being um, extremely dangerous. And a few people got sick and they pulled it from the shelves. So that's what happened to that. So... Everybody just started making their own stuff. And that's all these other hobbyists started popping up. Like Sonic Chill. All those guys started popping up. Yep. But the thing about it, they were all doing the same demonstrations. They're all sitting in the dark, high-powered projectors, and showing off to the screens. When we, on the other hand, were doing demonstrations in fully lit environments and taking screens outside, we were doing things on a different level. Now... Is when Crow did that demonstration of his screen paint outside, he did it on a small screen. You know the problem with doing small screens outside? Why you have to do them on much larger scales? Why when you see me do a demonstration on the test screen back there, but then later on you see I got a 135 inch that sits on my deck, and I can also put up to 180 inch in my backyard. You know why they do a smaller screen? I'll tell you why the trick behind the small screen. Outside, when they do the small screen demonstration, it's supposed to be done on a, on a massive scale. Now, we do it basically to do the test. Screen has to show up, and the projector has to be back a certain feet, and it has to overlap the screen, which means we don't have the image pushed in nice and tight to fit that small area. When you take a screen about this big, and you take a projector, and you push it to fit within that tiny box area, that means you're taking those pixels and you're pushing them tighter together. Something like pixel shifting technology. So the tighter the pixels, the more sharper, the more brighter the image. And keep in mind the projector is going to have to be pretty close in order for you to fit a screen size of that small. All right. So that's what they do. And they try to say, well, this is how our, our screen produces images outside. No, you have to throw that thing back 21 feet in order to pull that image off to show exactly that it actually works. That's why we have demonstrations of a 180 inch screen outside of my backyard at more than 21 feet back at six o'clock in the afternoon watching Star Wars. 
He hasn't done demonstrations like that. He'll stick to these little small square and small, small pieces of uh, screen because his projector is pushed in nice and close and the image is pushed tighter together. We know all those tricks. Now, jump that image at 180 inches or 150 or 135 and don't only show uh, bright colors, show contrast. That's why we're showing Star Wars because that's a really hard demonstration to pull off at 180 inches outside because it's jet black. That dogfight is jet black. They won't do that because if the screen's gonna fade inside, it's gonna fade outside. So those of you, that's why we call it hobby paint because we know how to make it because we used to make this stuff way back before we started developing black technology. It's very easy to do. All it is is just a mixture of different shades and they all react the exact same way. That's it. That's why, if you don't believe me and you think I'm lying here, that's why we asked him to do a side-by-side -side demonstration to the free mix that he shows you how to make online to his personal mix next to all his screen paints all together. And not only showing color and contrast at the same time. I guarantee you that cinema mix or whatever it is match that with the personal mix or match any one of those screens with that free do-it-yourself mix that i just told you how to make online that he showed us how to make and i guarantee you won't do the demonstration i guarantee that he'll probably do some review on some kind of gaming product or some kind of piece of technology that's what he'll do or he'll basically come in and say well i'm going to give him a challenge so and so and so no do what we told you to do and everybody else wants you to see if there is no difference in what I'm showing you right here, you should have no problem taking that free mix or any of your screen paint and putting them all together and doing that demonstration. Because keep in mind, when I show off my gray screens, which is the black silver, I have to show off the contrast demonstrations. We all know a gray screen is going to pull off beautiful white levels and beautiful colors. So I have to show you contrast, something that the screen's not designed to do. And if you have seen the black silvers, black silvers can pull a contrast level almost equal to a black screen but they're sitting next to it you saw that demonstration did you not all right then all right so i'm always got this coming up usually when i do these demonstrations i always get screamed at by the crow boy saying oh it's not fair you only put one coat on this screen you're supposed to put two so this is what we're going to do we're going to go back over here we're going to put another coat on top of the screen just to satisfy you because i had somebody come into a comment section so you only put one coat my screen paint only requires one coat. That's it. So, okay. We're well, here you. That right there. Don't mess up my floor. Ugh. Got paint still on me. That's this product right there. So you can see that for yourself. All right. We'll go back and repaint the screen to satisfy the crow boys. If not, they'll be crying about that one. I don't want them getting upset over that one. And you can hate on this video all you want. I really don't care. I don't care. At the end of the day, I don't care what you hate you put on my videos. Who cares? I don't go I'm not into likes. I'm not into likes. I'm not into dislikes. I don't care. At the end of the day, my product shows what it can do. And that's it. So let's put you down. Let's put another coat down. Because before you call me a scammer, before you say that I'm this, that, and the other, I'm supposed to be all these things. One guy, I just showed you a video where he flat out just called me a scammer. Okay. Where he took a thumbnail of my house and posted it. Okay. Where he recorded my voice when we had a conversation on the phone. Okay. Where he took my copyrighted product down to Home Depot and tried to make it. Okay. Yeah. I bought his product. I can go down to the Better Business Bureau and go down and file a complaint of fraud right now. Because I have purchased his product and this product is matching the product that I purchased. Which shows up on my debit card, my, on my PayPal debit card of this transaction.
so let me see what we got to do here. Those of you want to come in and say, well, you're not painting this screen in a traditional up and down formation. That's kind of messed up because you can paint my screens with any, any way you want and they still come up straight proof. It's still performing. His screen should be to paint that way too, but just to satisfy the crow boys. For some reason they feel that if you don't paint the screen in an up and down formation, it messes up the picture quality. There is something seriously wrong with y'all. There we go. They make you happy. Now the reason why I can file a fraud charge against him because I have a video of him making the product. And I made the product. And I matched it perfectly to his product. Which makes it a fraud charge. Which means I can file one if I want to. Before you go and talk about fraud. Ugh. Go back and rewind the video if you want. Watch the video. I'm gonna go clean up my kitchen. I'm gonna let the screen dry. I'm gonna watch the screen dry. Be purchasing any more of your products as I said before I don't have to I just make as much as that Metallica mix that's all I need anyway this is your personal mix right here that looks exactly like the product 
that I have right there in my living room. The one thing I love about this demonstration, I'll tell you one thing. In the first beginning of the demonstration, he shows you how much light he has in the environment. That light does not continue to stay there after the, the video starts. They start turning out lights left and right. So you see how much light is in the environment. One more light goes out. It's dark here, it was light there. And in the end, completely in the dark. Oh, let me go back to my watch more real quick. And keep in mind, you know, I got customers who appreciate my work, but like I said, I got companies interested in buying my technology. If I choose to sell out, then you're going to have to deal with them. And I'm telling you from the door, you will. They're not going to charge you $268. A blue technology? Oh, heck no. I just seen the price tag on what they might charge for that screen if I decide to sell out that blue technology before the launch date. They know I have the rights to it. So that's the thing about it. Before you can sell a technology, you have to have the rights to it. So before they give me say, hey, we're going to give you some money for this, I got to show them that I own this technology. So I got to show them my patent pending. I got to show them a trademark. I got to show them everything. Okay, yeah, I own this. I locked this down. This is mine. And now they're going to start basically throwing me numbers. All right, so how much would you want for it? How much you think it's worth? Or we could do it this way. We could basically give you a large sum of money up front, or we could basically give you like payments, like Every time you sell a screen, you get a percentage of it, such and such and so. That blue technology is worth a great deal of money. So I can pretty much, at the end of the day, if I want, I can sell my whole company out and be done with all this. Do something else. But nah, no I, because I enjoy what I do. I do. I know there are people out there who can't stand me, and that's why I'm here, because... I don't know why you can't stand me. It's got to be a jealousy thing. It has to be. It has to be a jealousy thing at the end of the day. But if you mind your own business and you stay in your own lane, we don't see you. We don't recognize you. You don't exist to us. Just like the guy who has pro screens, I could do demonstrations, blowing his stuff out all day long if I wanted to. But I don't. I don't care. He's making his money. He has a nice product. I respect it. And that's the end of it. Just like I said, I don't want to do demonstrations against this product because my product is going to be more, more um, superior than his because my technology has the ability to do things his screens can't do. And it wouldn't be fair to him to take his product and try to destroy it for no reason at all because I know myself is better than his. But that's not right. So he's not in my category. So I'll stick him in a category where he's familiar with, which would be with somebody like Crow. And he beat Crow's product. And I had to give him that respect. His product is good. It is really good. But I'm not going to tear this man down for the simple fact that, you know, because my product could dominate him. I'm not doing that at all. At all, period. I respect his work. And I'm going to leave it at that. That's why you don't see me doing any demonstrations against pro screens. You don't see me doing, oh, my technology versus his and so and so and so and blah, 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 blah. You don't see me doing that. No. Now, the big companies, yeah, because I feel that if someone's going to charge you five grand for a projection screen, it's sure enough better be, you better be able to walk through your house, and that thing better pick up on ultra short throw, long throw, any projector you throw at it. I go against them, yes. But a person like uh, Crow, 
His problem is he doesn't know how to stay in his lane. If he minds his own business and stays in his lane and just concentrates on his work, he doesn't exist to us. We don't see him. We don't care. But the minute you start calling me a scammer and a fraud and all this nonsense, and you start posting videos like this on live calling me a scammer, now you got my attention. Now you got more than my attention. Now I'm going to figure out how you work. And that's where we found the video. And that's what he's mad about and that's what he's upset about. Because my friend buddy, I'm gonna tell you right now, if I want, I can go, I can hit you with a fraud charge, right? Easily. I was able to prove that a product that you gave away for free, I paid for. I paid for your UV mix. I matched that with primer. I paid for your UV mix. I paid for your uh, Metallica Mix 2.0, which is in there right now on my freaking on, on the screen right there, displaying right there. I paid for your purse mix. I have all those transactions on my debit card, on my PayPal account. We can dig those up with no problem. And I could hit you with a fraud charge. Knowing that product, I could have went down to a store and picked it up and bought it. But I knew what I was getting myself into. I knew your product wasn't what it was. But if I was the everyday Joe and I really believed in you and what you were talking about, yeah, you can hit him with a fraud charge for that. Because there's a video showing him how to make, make the product. Now, keep in mind, if you basically made it yourself and he never showed you how to do it, that's a bit of a heavy gray area right there. You can't get away with that at all, period. Because that's something you dug up and you made. But that's him on the video actually showing you how to do it. That's the sad part. And he's mad at me because of that. Yeah, somebody just tried, one of the crow boys just tried to chime in, he got blocked. Yeah, you're blocked. Blocked, you blocked, blocked, blocked. We've rethought really every step you take to get into a new infinity. From online purchase and leasing, to test drives and service from anywhere. Experience a new way to buy infinity. Infinity now. That's you, my friend. I made your product. Not only did I make your product, I made multiple shades of it. That fast, that quick. That's how fast it is. You see me make the exact same shade. I sat there and turned around and it's what? Four whites into one black. And then took that 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 mixture and took two of those, four of those, and put that into white paint. White paint. But yet right there in my background, what do you see? You see a blue projection screen, don't you? Figure that technology out. You can't even figure out our black screens, our gold screens. You can't figure out how in the world does a platinum eclipse pull a contrast level. We did the platinum eclipse against the gray primer. It failed miserably. We pulled a higher contrast level. Or a black silver that's a gray screen can pull a contrast level so dark that it makes the other screens look like they're actually gray. There's a difference between what we make. But feel free to try to make one. What you tried to do already. You try to make the black. And I've yet to see any of the demonstrations on it. If that is our technology. Where's the 30 demonstrations under that technology? Yeah, I thought so. You can't get mad at me. All I did was just make your product. You put it right out there on how to make it. didn't even have the screen paint, didn't even have the paint that you had in the video. This is just old stuff I had laying around in the basement downstairs. And I was still able to mimic the exact same thing from your, from your instructions, from your instructions. So go ahead. You file a YouTube complaint about me, I'll file a fraud charge against you. Because I purchased your product and I have proof of basically your product blending with another and I paid money for it. And I'll have you an investigation for committing fraud. And that means for every person you sold that product to, they're going to trace every last container down. 
should have just mind your own business and stayed in your lane. That's what you should have did. Why do you think you can't find the video? Go look for the video. You can't find it. You pulled it. If this product had nothing to do with any way your product was made, you would have left the video up. You pulled the video. What is the name of this video he had for this video? You can go look it up for yourself. New awesome Metallica projection screen paint mix. Try to find it. See if you see if you can track you can track it down. I bet you won't. As a matter of fact, we'll do it for you. See if it pulls up. Because I'd be shocked if he up look put that put that video back up again. And see, new awesome. We did this one already, didn't we do this one already? Yeah, we did this one already. Let's come out of here drying in the other room right now so i did a recode on it because i got a purple crow boys got upset because i didn't go in and i didn't put two coats on it so now we put two coats on it now for you so you can't get upset over that Top of the AM. Hey, what's up, Chief? How you doing? Girl boy is a little upset right now. They're angry right now. Uh, I showed him the video where uh, where um, Buddy Boy basically went in and made the paint for free, and then basically it matched. It's matching the screen I have back there on display. And I just thought of something too. Um, I could literally go to the Better Business Bureau. I could file a fraud charge against them. I've made several transactions. As a matter of fact, earliest transaction I made was for that UB mix. I made a transaction for that. Hold on for a minute. I'm digging something up. Yeah, I'm up early in the morning, taking care of business as usual. We gotta go. I gotta contact some people that I hired today to take care of some business. That's a good friend of mine. We gotta look for this on YouTube. I forgot about that. So we need another YouTube link. Pull up. Let's come out of this new tab. Let's pull up YouTube again. Let's see if we can dig them up. I hate this keyboard. This keyboard is supposed to have. Awesome. I don't know why it calls it a Metallica mix, but there is no form of silver or anything in this that would make it that to begin with. So I don't know why you would have that in there at all. But, I mean, somebody made that in the comment section. That's mine, that's my video right there. It's not it, it's on the crystal edge right there. See if it comes up. Because it should come up. We did the search. And you know the title. The title looks just like this in the front. That's what you see in the front. Yep, that's a video of showing, him showing how to make it. And it matches the personal mix perfectly. I mean, absolutely perfectly. It does. So I paid $104 for that screen paint and to find out that I could have made it for like almost 40 something dollars a gallon. Look, there's my black screen being displayed on the wall. See how beautiful that is? How white levels look? That's my black technology in a fully lit environment. Yeah, it ain't, it's not here. He moved, he removed the video. Because it should have popped up. It's, it's not even here. So that tells you something right there. That's guilty as charged, people. 
that is guilty as charged. When you pull a video that fast that had 27,000 hits on it. Twenty-seven thousand hits on it, and you pull video that fast. That twenty-seven thousand hits on it. You know something's wrong there. This is the fellow who jumped on Crow, man. He jumped on Crow because Crow basically lied in one of his demonstrations. There was a screen called uh, uh, Linux, uh, Linux, what do they call that screen? And he caught Crow lying on it. So what Crow did was, you watch this video right here. I'm gonna put this link for you to watch this video. He caught Crow lying in a demonstration. In the demonstration he did against this screen, what Crow did was he turned the screen around on the opposite side, knowing that was not the side that was the projection screen. And that's why that screen came up darker and his screen came up lighter. And that guy found out what he did, bought the same screen and figured out what he did and put it down right there. I'm not the only one that basically knows this guy is doing dirty stuff. Come on, it's a lot of people know he does dirty stuff. Look, here, 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 making my product right here again. That's supposed to be our screen paint. See what I mean? Dirty stuff. Dirty, dirty, dirty stuff. We get them in here. Making your pro I can make your product. Look at it. Try to make my screen paint. This is why he's getting hit with that lawsuit. This is the part that gets me. This is supposed to be off topic. Sorry about that. But this is supposed to be the Frankenstein mix and another screen paint side by side. They look, when the color hits, they look exactly the same. The only difference is one is just pulling a slight darker contrast. Remember when I told you, when I showed you the different shades of gray paint, all they do is just add in a little bit more black into it just to darken it. But still, it all results to the same thing. There you go. How are you going to tell me that's two different products? It's just all it is is just basically just added a little bit more black paint to the other one. That's how you got that one to be slightly a little darker. Same scenario I showed you. We're going to do our own screen paint pattern. So we're going to do we're going to take those different colors that we made. We're going to put them all on the screen. And we're going to do the same demonstration. I bet you it matches. I bet you it matches. I told you. We used to make this stuff back in the day. This is how I know how this stuff is made. Because we used to make this. Like I said, if you grew up in the area of the gray paint, the YouTube paint era, you know how this stuff is made. Everybody was making their own different forms of blend at that time. No difference in that stuff, man. It's house paint. That's what everybody was using in that era. It was house paint. Look at the paint we got right here. Look at the color of it. See the color of that paint? See that gray texture to it? Got a little bit of paint on my countertop. 
That's all it is. Different colors. That's all it is. Just adding a little bit more, a little less. Sorry about that. I'm banging it there. I'm gonna stand. Oh, but it don't react the same way. Yes, it does. If you don't believe that that stuff don't react the same way, I'm gonna tell you right now. You deserve to have your money taken. You do. You deserve to have your money taken. to have your money snatched. There you go. Not so. Need a closer look? Here, I'll bring it up even closer. There you go. Well, I got me a bigger piece of tape for that one. Let's see if we get the stick here. Get a sticky on that. That's why. There you go. Big screen is what I made do, using the tutorial demonstration. And the screen in the middle is the screen to paint that I paid for. So if I want to, I can take this video right now. I just shot. shot. Let me get some more tape for that. For, come on. I can take this video right now. Trying to do a demonstration in the dark and coming up dirty. You can't match this up against our stuff. That's virtually impossible. This stuff right here, man. Are you freaking kidding me? That's my uh which one's called my remote control real quick. Both fade the same way. The contrast. say anymore. I might just file fraud charge now. In the Better Business Bureau. Somebody just scammed me. But good luck trying to make our product and trying to get it to do all 30 demonstrations. And this is the reason why we do those rigorous, insane demonstrations because in order for you to prove that you have our technology, you would have to pass all 30 demonstrations. And if your stuff ain't going through it, we definitely know that you know what you're making our stuff. 
but I can make your product because there's a video of you showing me how to make it. And I bet you, if he got any one of my orders to go through, every last one of them that would come over here, we can mimic every last one of them just by just adding in black and white paint all day. They all look the same. So it's kind of a bit of a buyer beware. You know what you're getting yourself before you buy paint. That's why I said you need to see more test demonstrations. If you're not getting the same test demonstrations that we do in our videos, then the bottom line at the end of the day is just hobby paint. That's what you buy. Like that beat, that beat is hot. I would like to have that for a ringtone. I swear, if that ringtone came out, I'd be like Carlton. Let me see. What we got out here? Now to make the curl boys happy, we added on two coats, all right? So there's two coats of that product on here. And look how much it blends in. Free, and the one I paid for. So if I want this product, I ain't gotta buy it. I'll just go downstairs and make five gallons of this because keep in mind, it's two in one. It's a Metallica mix, and also two, it's a personal mix. If I want the UV mix, that's dark gray primer. Did that demonstration a couple of days too. Matched perfectly. So I don't got to buy that either. Because there's no test demonstrations underneath of them. If he did a bunch of rigorous test demonstrations, that means in order for me to prove that I have his technology, I would have to do every last one of those tests to be the backup that this is his product. But he doesn't have any. Because the first thing he does is when he develops a screen paint, is he just goes in, shows you on a high power projector and a poorly lit environment and go voila look how amazing this looks things there's a little bit of comparison and just because it has a little bit of a little slight difference of a darker level it's supposed to be something completely new in no way in any form there's a black screen and a gray screen are on the same level but you can take my watch me take my gray screen and throw it into my black screen and it'll blend into it that's a difference when you see technology. So he can get mad all he want. He can curse at all he want. He can blah, 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 blah. We don't care. At the end of the day, that was you in the video. Can't get mad about that. For what? You don't want to show us how to make it. And deleted the video so no one else could figure it out. But like I said, go look for it. Try to find the video. You won't find it. But until then, there you go, right there. Fraud. A scammer, a liar. You deceived, you deceived your customers. You sold them a product that's not even real. When all along, the entire time, it's just black and white paint. If I wanted to take you to court over this, this would be an easy cakewalk for a judge. If I was a company, and I had bought 80 gallons of this stuff, you're screwed. I could take you to court easily and say, look, your honor, I found a YouTube video of him making this stuff and look how close it matches his product. He sold me on something that was supposed to be a high-tech, high-performance screen paint. And I bought this. And then later on, I found out it was just everyday black and white paint. Now, I'm going to take your technology, both of them, and put it against my black screen. 
And not only am I going to produce a high enough white level where my screen is going to look completely amazing, not even wash out, not even basically become so dark you can't even see it. And I'm going to pull colors 10 times better than your screen and the contrast levels. Now, the only thing you would probably get me in is probably a slightly higher white level. But other than that, it's going to be nothing where my screen is going to be so dark you can't even see it. And then once I take you outside, I'm going to make you disappear. Since you want to mess with a 12. Debunk your theory, buddy. Look at this. Probably nothing but gray paint. I can tell you that right from the door what it is. Sitting there blending into a, a screen paint up part. <sighs> I'm gonna put you against pro screens. Now pro screens, that paint is good. Now you'll see a difference when you talk about real technology, you'll see pro screen. Constantly, constantly, constantly stealing from people. You're a thief. I'm gonna call it like it is, because you're a thief. And I should file a fraud charge. I'm thinking about it. I'll think about it today. Whether we go in and we file that charge also. We already gotta be contacting the copyright office today for one charge right there. We got we got we're gonna be contacting YouTube and a couple other places we gotta contact. So you can send me emails telling me, oh, it's crap, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna start showing you the emails he sends me too on my account. He sends me weird emails. Unbelievable. Okay. That looks exactly what we have there in the kitchen. Look at the top of the paints. Look at the colors of them. You see how close they come together? There's nothing different about any of that whatsoever. And that's supposed to be the Metallica Mix 2.0. So the Metallica Mix 2.0 and what we have here, I bet you, are the same thing. Because this is a Metallica mix too, you know that, right? Look at my white wall right there, that's even more shocking. This is the side of my modi, my crown modi in my house. Go grab, let me see. T L Getting that from YouTube. Hmm, that's the wrong one. T C L. Getting that from YouTube. But they put a dot abbreviation on each one. Yes, they did. Let's just go with um hmm. Make this easy. Let's just come out of here real quick. We'll clear this right here and then we'll bring in um, T. We gotta do it ourselves because it abbreviated C. 
L. And then put space and put in 4K. 4K. 4K, 4K. We had a warm day come today. We'll be outside the day with this. 4K. Um, space. D. Here we go. Perfect. 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 by staying in your lane. If you mind your own business and stay in your lane, we wouldn't care about this. I told you at the end of the day, crow and the hobbyists, they're small fish. They don't do our demonstrations at the end of the day. They give us no credibility. We get nothing off of them at all, period, because they can't match our technology. Now, the big companies, that's what we're interested in. But if you're going to basically slander my technology and call me scammers and nasty names, then I'm going to go and defend myself. And then I'm going to dig up stuff on you and find out exactly what's going on in your backyard. And you better hope your backyard's clean, because if it's not, I will definitely find something on you. And there you are. It wasn't hard to find it. As a matter of fact, somebody sent me the link. Yeah, that's something you might want to look at. When I saw the demonstration, I was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. So we went back and did some research and figured out right around this time, that's when he was giving out his paint for free. That's how I know about his history, to give out his products for free. But then I started thinking like, okay, since we can't buy the product, we'll make this. And let's see how close this comes to the UV, the, um, to the personal mix. And there you go. That's what we got. That's the results we got from it. Match perfectly. Now, like I said, if I were to go out and I were to file a complaint against you for fraud, because you committed a scam against me, keep in mind for every container that you sold under this product, they would have to do an investigation on it. Because I have a video of you making the product. That's what makes it stick so well. The video of you making it. And that's why he deleted the video. Something to hide. Get up nice and close on it. There you go. I know I'm going to hear, oh, he's bullying him, he's messing with them. Buddy, there is so much stuff in your account of you calling us scammers and doing nasty stuff to us. This is what we call fighting back. That's what we call it. demonstration me ever calling him a scammer a fraud a cheater a liar none of them things and his videos he calls us scammers he calls us this that and he has all kinds of nasty stuff so this we call fighting back you don't like it do you hmm it's gonna get a, it's gonna be a rough ride for you 2021 it's not gonna be your year i'll tell you that right now it's gonna be a rough year for you
So tomorrow, I'm not like I said, I'm gonna buy food no more. I'm gonna go down and make myself a five gallon bucket and I'm gonna call it um, Metallica Mix slash Personal Mix. That's what I'm gonna call it, my personal stash. And then since we did match the UV Mix with Primer, I'm gonna get myself, I'm gonna tell you what primer it is. Now see, I'm being nice to you. I could tell them what primer I used to match that, that match that paint correctly with no problem, but I'm not gonna tell them that. It's not your everyday primer. It's a very strange version of primer to do it, but it matches it exactly perfectly. I'll let y'all figure that one out. I'm gonna get myself a five gallon bucket of that tomorrow. lights out. I'm using a Chrissy 1080p projector, 1920 by 12,000, 1200, 4300 lumens, WFGA, high-end model. And look at this. You're blending your screen. That is your free product versus your paid-for product. I'll be on same demonstration, same paint on demonstration will be done on Facebook. bright colors look at the detail look at the white levels look at the contrast in the hair yeah you sold it but you sold it and my dad used to say you could sell popsicles to an Eskimo you can literally sell popsicles to an Eskimo Once I file a complaint with the Better Business Bureau today, I want to actually put a post on our website for watching out for screen paints that commit fraud. I'm not going to tell you what it is, what kind of primer it is, 
But we did that demonstration against our Platinum Eclipse. Our Platinum Eclipse was able to crush it with no problem whatsoever. See, there's a difference between our product and a dark, a dark gray primer. So that's a dark gray primer right there, as you can see. Now, I'll show you something interesting. This right here is the UV mix that we purchased back in 2020, February 2020, around that time. That's the problem, and I can show you the unboxing on my YouTube channel where I unboxed that product right there. If it's mixed. Now, I told you before on camera, we don't have any more of it left. That's why we were requesting to buy more from him, but he kept canceling the orders. That's primer. Now I'm not going to tell you what primer it is, because you know I'm trying to be respectable here. I can tell you exactly what it is, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's something I was using upstairs to coat the attic, and I'm looking at the roller. I'm thinking this took a heck of a lot, like a UB mix. So I put two and two together, and this is what I came with. So what happened? And that's what nothing added in. It's just everyday primer. Nothing added in with it. Nothing special, no whites and blacks or whatever. It's just everyday primer right out of the can. And it came extremely close to matching. demonstration screensaver. So let me show you. When it comes to a platinum eclipse, platinum eclipse strong points are they have the ability to pull the heaviest contrast out of any gray screen we've ever developed. All right? See it right there? Hold on for a minute. Out of the way of that. All right. Now, before you go, well, Ken, that's not fair because now you're doing his product and I'm doing your own. How does your screen paint the Platinum Eclipse, which is one of the darkest screen paints that we make in gray? How does that measure up to gray primer, like the one you used upstairs? better. I painted half my screen with it. See, 
I can back up my word 100%. That's the difference between my technology and everybody else because I've done all those tests already. I don't cut corners or do all that nonsense. I have to test my screens, as I said, against other black surfaces. Because who's to say it's going to go out and get black chalk paint and try to match my technology or black paint or black spray paint? But then it comes to our dark gray screens. Who's to say someone might not have to take black or a dark gray primer and try to actually say, hey, we could do the same thing he can do. No, you can't. There's a difference between what we make and what everybody else makes. This is why I can feel comfortable painting one side of my screen with primer. And before you look at it and say, oh, but that's not a dark gray screen. That's a black screen. Remember what I told you about the Platinum Eclipse? How they have an interesting code because they look black, but they're not black. They're actually gray. I love doing these demonstrations. They're gray screens. Next to a black screen, they're gray. They're just one. And they have a code inside them that allows them to read a very heavy contrast level. There's a difference between that color and my screen when it comes to primer. That stuff matches perfectly. It matches perfectly to gray, everyday dark gray primer. For my technology, it doesn't even match to it. You have to be able to back up your technology. You have to be able to show that there is a difference. If you cannot show a difference, anyone can match your stuff. If you don't do the test, you don't do the demonstrations, you don't put the hard work in, then anyone can debunk, anyone can come in and debunk your technology. How come that looks exactly like that? But this over here painted on this side doesn't even look like it. There you go, people. There's your wake up call. You can stare at that for a while. It's interesting how the Platinum Eclipse is pulling in a strange, insane heavy contrast level. But if you look at the primer, it doesn't have the ability to produce a heavy contrast. And if you look at Cross UV Mix, it blends in perfectly with the gray primer. We had a platinum eclipse, it's not black. It's just a very dark form of technology when it comes to gray screens. It is actually one of the darkest gray screens we have ever developed. So dark that if you were to look at it side by side from a black, you wouldn't really tell one from the other. But if you were to lay it against a black screen, then it shows its true identity. It comes up gray. See, not only can I come in here and show that he's fake, but I can come in here and put my technology through the same scrutiny as his screen just went through and still come out on top and show you the difference between my technology and if you were to go out and buy some gray primer and try to do the same thing. Can't lie about that, can you? 
You see how the platinum eclipse pulls up a nice, rich, dark red. You see where the gray primer pulls up a faded, washed out red. You see where the crow's UV mix pulls up the same color as the red. And that's half of my screen painted with that primer. Hmm. I'm just quiet because I just gave you something to think about. That's all. And this is a technology that companies want me to sell out on. So, like I said, you only have two, three options. You can go with a high performance screen and spend a couple thousand dollars, maybe five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars for a screen that's nowhere in the world. It's going to be to do what my technology does. You can take a chance on hobby paints that are untested and constantly are surrounded by smoke and mirrors, which I showed you in the demonstrations, which will be over and paying for something that you probably could have just literally just went to Home Depot and made for free. Or then you have our technology, which is tested, has demonstrations that are pretty much unmatched, and we can basically back up our technology at 100%. Boy, I'm telling you, when I retire, boy... <laughs> I am curious exactly how it's all going to play out. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love some of my customers. I do. I really do enjoy doing business with my customers. I love my customers to death. I do. Who else is going to pay an extra 100 bucks to ship out products to make sure their customers' packages reach a destination? Or take the time to get up 4 and 5 o'clock in the morning because they love what they do to design technology and charge it at an affordable price that everybody can afford it. That's somebody talking about how the blue was too expensive. It was $268, and it blew out a $5,000 projection screen. I said, well, you don't, you don't have to buy it. You can go buy one of these other paints right here that are untested, or you can buy them and go spend a couple thousand dollars, but you're not going to get anything that designed like blue. Blue is the only one of its kind. I think that's pretty cheap when you consider you got a screen paint that you can paint up to 120 inches. And it's going to cost you less than five grand. And you can sit with that screen all day. Because that's what I did yesterday. I had my screen in my window with the sun coming through, through the afternoon, even through the evening hours. And I came in and y'all saw me log in. Every time I came in, I showed that screen was fired up and it didn't fade not one time. Now, big company got a hold of that kind of technology. How much do you think they would charge you? Now, keep in mind, their screens are not doing what our screens are doing right now, and they're charging five grand for those screens. What would happen if they were to coat that technology on their pre-existing screens? How much money do you think they would charge for it? Probably looking at a $10,000 projection screen. They could pretty much take all those old white projection screens that they really don't back, and they could coat all those screens and resell them for a higher price make a huge bundle off of them because the most expensive thing about those high-end screens is the material that ambient light rejection reflective material is very very expensive to have but if they had a coating that they can basically convert all their screens into that technology and keep in mind one gallon's probably going to knock out probably somewhere if they do it right and they have a special machine to do it they'll probably get a professional um, um, machine to spray the screens down they could probably knock out about five or six gallons about maybe about uh, four or five screens easily with one coat application. That's it. And they could take a screen that would pretty much like my screen over here. It cost me from Elite Screens, I paid around 260 bucks because it was 126 inch. And then it was the edgeless model version of it that had the borderless on it. And I paid two something on it. So if they took that white screen coated with that technology, being black or blue or whatever it is, and keep in mind they can use it in fully the environment. You don't have to have high power projectors to do it to make the make up for what the screen is lacking. It's ultra sure through compatible. It can be used outside at around six o'clock in the evening. You've seen the yard master, the yard master with no way in the world, and I'm calling it, with no way in the world be to stand up to a 12 outside at six o'clock in the evening. They would charge probably eight nine thousand dollars and they don't care if you can pay it because they got they got a customer base that can pay for it think about it if you got a screen like screen innovations they're charging five thousand dollars for a screen there's no way in the world a company like that would be in business if they didn't have a clientele that could pretty much pay for that a customer base that could pay for those screens 
Because if not, they'd be out of business. No one would be able to afford it. The price would be too high. But somebody's paying for it, and that's the reason why their company is where it's at right now. So if they were to take that technology and integrate it, they can charge $10,000. They can charge $20,000 because they have people that can pay for it. Just because you can't afford it, just because I can't afford it, doesn't mean they don't have somebody can pay for it. Look at Bugatti, Lamborghini, Aston Martin. When you go into the show, look at them crying like, good gracious. I saw uh, um, a 1975 Thunderbird for $75,000. It was a uh, canary yellow with uh, caramel seats. And I'm thinking $75,000. Who pays for that? But there are people that paid for it. Because if they didn't, they'd be out of business. No one could afford it. The price would be too high. Somebody, somebody has a bill to pay for it. So with that being said, when somebody says, oh, nobody, no, you won't be able to buy it. They'll market it to somebody that can. And I know this because when I had Crystal Edge technology, when I had, not Crystal, when I had Digital One Crystal Screen Paint, uh, the contract we had overseas, they were marketing the packages off at $3,000 a package with a 720p projector. And they had a customer list signed up for that screen paint and that package. They can market it to the right people. Yep. And this stuff is way beyond what we had then. And people say, well, why don't you sell out? Well, I don't sell out because the reason why is because I like what I do and I want me to do what I do every single day. I get up in the morning and go, what the freak am I supposed to do today? Literally, what would I do today if I got up and I wasn't in this business anymore? Everything I do is around my technology. Everything. Gaming, watching movies and TV shows and Things I like to build and design, even stuff that has nothing to do with basically projecting movies with 3D mapping and all different kinds of displays and things I like to build and um, of simulators and all that stuff is incorporated with my technology. So you strip all that away from me. There's no way in the world I'm giving that up. And there's no way in the world I'm letting some hobbyists, funny when I said that, some hobbyists who makes hobby paint come along and try to tarnish my company's name. It's not going to happen. So this right here, and I'm not going to tell you to paint, it's lucky I'm a nice enough person not to tell you to paint what it is. There's paint out there that matches it correctly, no problem whatsoever. But I'm going to be nice, I'm not going to tell you what it is. But there is a paint that matches it correctly. matches it correctly with no problem and that right there is the free mix and the personal mix on a red display displaying the exact same color so it's the same thing it's the same paint nothing different about it it's the same paint go back and rewind the video and watch you make the paint right there everything was done honest and by the book and he feels if he feels in any way, in any way in this demonstration, if he feels that he was wrong, feel free to prove me wrong. As in making the product yourself, and I know what it looks like. We all know what it looks like. We can make it ourselves over here. Anybody can make it. And match your product against all your screens that you have. I want to see you try to match against the Personal Mix. I want to see you match against the Frankenstein and that Cinema Max and all of them. Just match against to Just see how close it comes. And do the same demonstration I've done. Do contrast, do color, the whole nine yards. If it's not the same thing. If I'm completely showing you something completely wrong. Which I doubt because uh, last I checked, that's what you look like. That's what the inside of your house looks like. So that's definitely you in the video. So all I did was just follow your instructions. But if it's not the same thing, all you got to do is just copy the exact same video I just did. As when you go in and you show demonstrations of my product being so dark that people can't see it, I can come in and show you a demonstration live of my demonstrations, not only performing a bright, beautiful image, but a bright, beautiful image against your personal mix, which I'm going to do today. But that just show the people what you're actually really getting. Pro boys are welcome to bring in your two cents to explain why this is happening. I mean, any other time you speak, any other time you have something to talk about, I'm curious why 
This product is matching perfectly. Let me see. Let's go into. Um, let me see. Let's get some more of these demonstrations right here. Let's grab this one. Run, I gotta clean my counter check real quick. I'll be back. Bit of insurance people. Hold on for a minute. I think I'll walk through it to move it show again. Okay. If he feels again, Crow Boys, that I wronged him in any way in this demonstration, I will purchase his personal mix today. Bring it over here and do the demonstration again. Keep in mind, I do have a sample of the original, so if you do change it in any way, I'm going to know whether or not you altered it or made it darker. So, we can do it that way, too. But chances are, he's going to cancel my order, which means I'm going to have to make a whole new email address to go in and order it because he's banned me from buying from him. So, like I said, if he has nothing to hide, I can order the mix, or he can basically go in and do the demonstration himself because it is his product. He made it, and he showed everybody how to do it. But like I said, if you try to find the video... You're not going to find it. Just delete it. So you're talking about two tablespoons per quart. So you would need eight to make a gallon. That's $17 for a quart of black paint. It's about $23 if you did it with bare 50. So you're talking about even $40. With free shipping. With free shipping because keep in mind, you're picking it up yourself. So it's free shipping. So you wouldn't be paying for it at all when it comes to that. Because the shipping would be free. You gotta consider that. So it would cost you, if you did it with bare 10 50, the white paint with bare 1050, which is a one coat application, and you went and bought uh, a quarter paint flat black would cost you around $17. Altogether, that'd be $40. Nope, you could have made a gallon for $40 with no shipping cost, easily. I paid for mine 
$104. Yeah, you got a nerd to be labeling your videos, call me a scammer. Interesting. That is real freaking interesting. Move this all the way up. We got the little girl running through the metal. I want to see that one because that's one he zones in a lot on. Let's bring that one up. See how matter of fact, let's get these contrast levels first in there. See if this screen paint and see if there's any difference in the contrast levels. No difference. Reacts the exact same way. It reacts the exact same way as the free mix does. That's our technology called black silver. It's gray, but it can produce a contrast level. When I told you that never do a demonstration against a black silver because it's an odd, strange formula that would blow out your product on every level whatsoever. And it would. There's, there's, it's a strange chemical. It allows, like I said, it's a gray screen, but it can produce a contrast level that's so dark, they look close to black screens. Now, if you think that's a nightmare, then you should see the platinum eclipse because that screen's even darker than this one, and it's gray. You would think it was black, but no. It's a gray screen. I could just pull a contrast level, that's all, because it has a code in it where it's not every house paint that does not have code. See? Gray. Crow boys, you got an answer for that one? How come I just took a black gray screen and threw it up there and it took us to turn solid black? Because it has a code. It's because it's not a day house paint. That's the difference between my stuff and everybody else's. Back there for a minute. Right for a minute. Oops, sorry about that. Now, 
Let's go back there, right where that spot was at. Right there. Now, can you make out the background? You make out the tables and because some people think this is acceptable contrast. They really believe that. But this right here is supposed to be acceptable contrast. Can you make out anything in that background? All right, this is a black technology when we're pulling a contrast. This is great. technology not even black now can you make out what's in the background because a gray screens can read a contrast level which means they're not everyday paint it's a formula not a mix that's the difference between the two let's get a little closer so now you can see the shine off the table. You can see the reflection from the glass. You can see the bottles in the background. The windows sealed perfectly clean. Look at the bottom of the floor, the shadow in the background. This is a great technology. This is a black silver that we make. It's a screen that's coated to bring up a contrast level. Now look on the other side. What do you see? Let's move the screen back a little bit. Now what do you see? See the shine on the table? It's gone. Shine on the table. It's gone. Shine on the table. It's gone. See what I mean? Shine on the table. It's gone. Next to the UV mix. Look at that. Even the grass is faded. You want to challenge my technology. You want to call yourself equal to what I do. Like I said, stay in your lane. Now, I'll bring next, probably tomorrow, we're going to paint half of this with that pro screen paint, that HD pro screen paint I showed you about. on which one, And we're going to show that technology next to this. And you're going to see where Crow talks about how his technology pulls the highest white level. Who, who, who knew? Not next to this guy. This guy's white levels are freaking amazing. And this is at $46 for two quarts. And the shipping is even cheaper at $46 for two quarts. Oh, and just to let you know, I know I got a lot of hatred on this video. Do you think I care? Because crow boys get upset and they throw a lot of hate on my channel. I don't care. At the end of the day, I know I'm rustling your feathers. That's what it is. I know at the end of the day, I'm proving your theories wrong. At the end, I'm showing your product for really what it is. We're getting rid of all the smoke and mirrors, all the clouds, and I'm showing you how it's done. And this is the reason why he doesn't want his product coming over here, because we're not going to babysit your product over here. We're going to basically put you to the real deal test. I'm going to put you against my technology. I'm going to put you against everybody else's technology. You're going to run you through the grinder. You don't want that. You want your screen paints being done in your comfortable environment. And like I said, you want to review everybody else's stuff. But the minute somebody touches your stuff, you start screaming and crying. You're being harassed and you're being bullied. <laughs> but don't worry. I won't be buying any more of your stuff. I'll just make it the stuff I have here, which I have more than enough to make. All I need is a Metallica mix and show me how to make that for free, so that's all I need. We don't need anything else.
Let's see if we can get the girl running to the meadow. Oh, man, this is going to be brutal. I'm not even going to bring the gray screen out for this. I'm not even going to bother bringing it out. We know what's going to happen if I bring that gray screen out here. And I'll do it side by side. Not a black screen. Our gray screen. This is our mid-level screen. This is a screen we charge $89 for. my hands on that Frankenstein. When he claims it's Frankenstein to be ambient light projection. We do a take it outside and do a star field off of it. Any black contrast, OLED demonstrations, any one of them. And then I'll pull white levels and I'll blend your screen. Now, all that talk, you're talking about those challenges and stuff. You got a big challenge on yourself. You had the biggest challenge ever. You're going to have to somehow convince your customers that you just sold them a product that they literally could have made for free. That's your challenge right there. Be honest with your customers. So I told you, when you get to the shades, the more black you add into it, or they do it vice versa. Basically, instead of putting in a quart of white paint, they take a quart of black paint, and they start dropping in white levels from there. And that basically changes it to the dark gray mixtures. You want to change the light gray mixtures, you do it vice versa. You switch it over to the white paint, and you drop the black levels in. The more black levels you put in, the darker it gets. The less you put in, the lighter it gets. That's how they measure it. That's how everybody was doing it at that particular time. So he wants to come on here and act like this is all new. This isn't nothing new. People were doing this way, way, way back. I'm talking about 2012, maybe 2009 they were doing this. And it's a screen paint called the YouTube screen paint, which pretty much was white and black paint. That's what it was. Look at the match on those skin tones. Look at the match on the skin tones. I just made your paint for free. And you showed me how to do it. So all I gotta say is thank you so much, Fernandez Gonzalez. Thank you for showing me how to make this product. Because if it wasn't for you putting the video out, heck, who would have ever knew? So I have you to thank for it. Because you have you put the video out. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You saved me a lot of money. I don't now have to go out and basically worry about we do side-by-sides all day long. As a matter of fact, I'll be putting this against the Sun Killer. Outside, we'll be doing this demonstration some of the other screens. Yeah, we'll be doing all those reviews. And don't go snowflaking on me. Don't whine and cry about being bullied and being harassed and all that. Because people can go through your YouTube channel and see all the dirty stuff that you've done against us. And you have no business to cry and whine. You take it like a man. That's what you got to do. Take it like a man. When a lawsuit hits, take it like a man. That's what you got to do. Because right now, you're a fraud, buddy. That is, that is amazingly, amazingly, super, super, extremely close. But how close that looks. That is extremely close. I would say perfect match. I honestly would say it. I need a marker so I can mark the top of this screen free. One was free and one was not free.
feel free to try to make any of our other products. We look forward to seeing those demonstrations. And we do look forward to seeing any of the other demonstrations that you said you can make our product. I mean, I want to see some of those test demonstrations we've done on our product, which we can't do. So we already know that from the door. Um, other than that, we're going to keep doing these demonstrations. Um, I'm curious how this is going to stack up against other screen paints that we were going to be purchasing off of... Um, on Facebook, because there's a couple other people out there, which I'm curious exactly how good their stuff may be to yours. Your stuff is good, but the thing about it is, man, it's 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 matching, man. You're matching a, a free product is matching a paid for product. That's bad. That's really bad. That means all that hype that you put into this product, being the personal mix, being this, being that, the colors and contrast and everything you put up on it was all basically a sales pitch live when all together it was just black and white paint. There's nothing special about it. It's black and white paint. That's all. Anybody can do it. Anybody can make this. You can make five gallons of paint the whole side of your house or you want to go down the road. But we also want to show you why you don't want to paint your stuff with this because we're going to put this against black technology. And that's not going to be pretty because you already seen what our gray screen just did. It's a gray screen. You pulled the gray screen out and, and blew your contrast levels out of the water with a gray screen. Do you have any idea what a black screen is going to do to your screen? A gray screen can pretty much pull our technology and grays can read contrast. So that screen was able to pull detail out in the screen that you would never see in the screen. Even if you had a high power um, um, projector, which we're using right now. But you're talking about black technology. The gray can't even stand up against a black screen. And you want to go against that. You don't worry about challenges. you got a challenge for yourself. Your challenge today is to basically talk to your customers and explain to them why you deleted a video that showed how to make a free screen paint mix that matched perfectly to a paid for mix. Like I said, at the end of the day, man, I can hit you with a fraud charge. I can go to Better Business Bureau right now. I can file a charge against you for fraud. And I got you on the video to prove it. Just because you deleted it doesn't mean it's not there. We have copies. That's that. Let's see. This is going to be the next person you're going to go against. You know what he does to your product. He's good. If this guy literally wanted to do a demonstration against all Crow's products, he could put every last one of them down. This stuff is amazing. Now, if you're going to go down the road of doing, going down the road of doing these light gray screen paints, you know, I don't call his stuff hobby paint. I don't. It's actually pretty good. It's very good. But this is a hobby paint. But, like I said, at the end of the day, if you're going to go down that road, you want to and you want to go down that road, you know what I mean? You want something affordable, I would go with this fellow right here any day. That stuff right there is just black and white. Or you just make the black and white paint. And the sad thing about it is when we did the demonstration with this fellow's paint, his paint even put the do-it-yourself to shame. So it was better than the do-it-yourself. It was better than the personal. Now it was. Look how it shows up on the freaking Amazon Fire Stick display. It matches perfectly to the display. So what are you going to say? What's your excuse? That's not me on the video. You're deducted by aliens. It was cloned. You have a twin. What kind of excuses are we going to use? Because I made it from your video. I used your tutorial to make it. Q &A. You need to start a QA to your customers. Let them know why your paint is matching the free paint you're paying for. That's what you need to do. Like I 
explained to you crystal clear that you want to go around reviewing my products. I said, you don't want me reviewing your products. You don't want me doing that. Mind your business and don't let them mind your own business. Now, for anybody who sits there and says, oh, but he can sue you because you made his paint without permission. Again, crack a book. Do you know what the inside of a book smells like? If you don't, then you haven't cracked the book in a while. You can't patent something that you give away for free. Basic common sense. That's just common sense 101. If you gave a Coca-Cola gave out the ingredients live, posted on YouTube the ingredients on how to make their product and somebody makes and starts selling it, they can't sue them. They can't touch them with a 10-foot pole. Because you gave out the information for free. So we made it from your tutorial video that you pulled down. But didn't realize that we have copies of it. As we have copies of all the demonstrations that you do call them as scammers, mixing our products with dirty paints, doing all kinds of dirty stuff against so just copies of everything. You just got caught, that's all. You were doing dirty stuff and you got caught. Look how the white levels match. Everything matches perfectly. So now you're going to have your customers not only thinking that when you did that dumb idiot, I mean, that was stupid. To put my house up there on a thumbnail, that doesn't bother me. You can find my house on freaking Google. Big deal. Whatever. But the dumb thing is what you did was and will sink to any level to try to damage somebody. And when you take someone's personal information, like, I'm not saying it's personal because it's out there. You take somebody's information and do that. It just tells your customers that, hey, look, if this guy's going to do that, why in the world would I even think about giving you my credit card numbers or any of my personal information to begin with? When you, we might get into a dispute. Who does know you might not do that to me? You have damaged your customer trust right there from doing something that stupid. And then this nonsense on top of it, even worse. Because now you have basically sold a product to a customer and made them believe that it was something completely different when all the while it was just black and white paint. And they paid that money for it. And these people work hard. At the end of the day, they work hard for money. And they want to set up. Free shipping. Go pick it up yourself. Two things you should have did. Either deleted the video before you started selling your stuff because you used to give away for free. Or make the product better than the product that you were giving away for free. So that way, if somebody does pop and find the video and they do a side by side demonstration, because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. 27,000 out of 27,000 people who saw that video, I'm the only one that figured it out. I don't think so. I think a few people figured I think a few more people than that figured it out. So either make your product better than what you were giving out for free. So that way, if somebody does match it up, it doesn't match. It's a completely different product. But you didn't do that. Well, you got to be arrogant to pull that one off. You got to be real arrogant to pull that one off. They have a video floating around long enough to get 27,000 hits on it. And you're, and you're selling paint. And then gets mad at us and tries, tries, not does it, tries to make our formula. Mm. Mad doesn't try to make our formula. What you mad at us for? You be mad at yourself. You was on the video. All I did was follow your instructions on how to make it. That's all I did. See, my mom used to always have a saying: People who do dirty things in the dark always get bought out in the light. So be very careful before you go around calling people scammers and saying their product doesn't work and this, that, and the other. When you yourself are doing dirty stuff on levels that, man, you should not be doing. It, it, it's, it's sad how you call. And keep in mind, I'm not the first person he did this to. There are other people he's done this to. He's done dirty stuff to other people. The guy who does the YouTube video who explains how Crow basically went in, basically uh, faked the demonstration with the projection screen. He was real ticked off over that. And so he's been doing this stuff to other people. And all the while, the entire time, he had everybody believing that he was doing everything by the book and he was an honest uh, a merchant. 
He was scamming y'all the whole freaking time. And trying to make everybody else look bad. They got a word for that. You know what they call it? They call it karma. That's the word for it. Good old fashioned karma. The karma plans to pay you in a couple more visits today. When we actually get a chance to get in there and contact the copyright office and follow up for messing with my copyright. You know who gets involved in that? Not the police. FBI gets involved in that. They got to launch an investigation. And we have a video of you making our product or trying to make our product. Slandering our copyright. Slandering the name that's attached to my website. Just because you think they don't have your information, we're talking about FBI. They have your information. Like I said, expect to hear from them soon too also. I can go over to the Better Business Bureau right now and I can file a complaint for fraud because I have a credit card transaction showing multiple orders from you, especially if you got here on the screen, and I can prove that you basically sold me a product that I could have made for free. Along with, I also too dubbed and copied the advertisement videos you did also too when you were talking about how the paint was this and how it was different from anything else and stuff like that. That's false advertisement. That's misleading the customer. And then there's the problem where you mix their product with black paint. That's going to be another part. We're going to bring you to court for that too. Because when we go into court for that one, that's a civil class action lawsuit we're filing against you. Because that's for when we go into court, we're going to be arrested and I will have my attorney request me paint that screen live in the courtroom. Much like I do on live all the time. Twenty twenty one. It's not going to be a year, buddy. It's not. It's going to be a bad year for you. But if you mind your own business and stayed in your own lane, this would have never happened. And it's called sweet, sweet karma. And there you go, people. Go back and rewind the video. You can watch me show off the demonstration how we made the product, how I rolled the product on. Everything was done by the book. And on top of that, I made other forms of different products in there by just adding less and more paint. People like that will blame everybody else for their downfall. Now, today, I had to make, put in an order over at Lowe's for making, for making five gallons of this product. Metallica Mix 2.0? Oh, heck yeah. Or Metallica Mix, I'm making five gallons for myself. You can't say anything about it. You show me, you show the tutorial on how to make it. And it matched the personal mix, so I can honestly say that I have both. I have the Metallica Mix and the personal mix at the same time. For the primer in there, that's the UV mix right there. I go get five gallons of that. I don't got to mix anything in that. Nothing was mixed in that at all, period. To make that for that product. Today we'll come back in and we'll put this against my technology and then after we get done doing that demonstration we'll put it against the HD Pro this HD Pro HD um, screen I'll make sure I got it right Pro screens we're going to against Pro screens right down the middle half and half let's move this off real quick so I don't get this in the way and shot there we go
Oh, and uh, please do put any more dumb posts because your account's being investigated by YouTube's legal department. We filed that complaint yesterday. Just so you know, your account's being monitored. Got to put that paper in. Uh, we also, too, uh, sent YouTube a copy of our verification for our copyrights on the video you basically posted also, too. So they have that copy. They have the information, too, showing that we do have a registered copyright. Yeah, just in case if you say yeah your mix produces a higher white level and then they both produce the high same white level same thing they match perfectly so when he made our product to my free christmas gift well people voila if you basically want to make it for free, you can because can't get mad at us. We didn't make the product for free. We did it off the tutorial video. That's what we did that he posted. So actually, he gave you a free Christmas gift. Not us. It's his video showing you how to make it. Isn't that interesting? How you try to make our product and you said that you would give everybody a free gift when you actually made your own product and you gave everybody a free gift. Karma is a beautiful thing. Let's get nice and close to the screen. We can show you how close it is. Yep, the video is showing. The, when the fellow came in and said, there's a video showing him how to make Yeah, it's a video. He pulled it down. He pulled the video. But we got it. We got the video. That is your product. Look at that. Matching perfectly on an old, old sample sheet that we had. Now the reason, and I try to be fair. Even when people do me dirty, I try to be fair. The reason why I won't tell you what primer is, is it not be for me personally on my end, because I he, he deserves to have it stuck. He does deserve it 100% to have it stuck to him. But I'm not that kind of person. So you're gonna have to figure that one out for yourself. But I figured that out by accident, by upstairs painting it and looking at it like, wait a minute, it looked exactly alike, put the two together, and he did blend. Where, that would be me showing you how to do it. Where, in this one, I can definitely show this off because he definitely shows you in the video, so that's him showing you. So, kind of gave you a free, kind of gave you guys a free gift. I'm surprised, I'm pretty sure, like I said, 27,000 people saw that video. I'm pretty sure, out of that 27,000, somebody put two and two together and figured it out. You 
got to keep them separated. Let me see. Are we good on that one? We are into three. Are we into this video? Yep. time we got six o'clock something's gonna be coming up pretty soon all right so i'm gonna cut this short i'll be back in later on we got more to do